Last time, you guys made your way into New Wall, looking for what you were told were the Jovan brothers. They were in the prison that was kept beneath the whole New Wall fortress that was inside of this large mountain. You guys made your way, uh, messed up a couple guards that you found after sneaking around, um, gathered up some stones, and then found a secret entrance located basically out in the middle of the floor in this forest. You guys found this hidden entrance, went down and entered, fought what looked to be an individual that ran off. You guys were met with four pathways that you guys went down after fucking around for literally a long time and not knowing what to do, where to go. You eventually <laughs> doubled back, tripled yeah. back, found information, and found that there was an entry point that was led to be known for members. Um, Girth over here, almost forgetting about his card, and then remembering at the last second, found that there was a way to open it after you guys killed two card members after they exited from that doorway. You guys eventually traded those cards with an individual that was a dwarf that was one of the captains in the prison that it gave you the Javon brothers in trade for those two high ranked cards. You guys got the Jovan brothers, but after doing so, you ran into the Dragonborn. We had already taken Fuctus and fled in a different direction and said that you looked familiar, that they thought you had some similarity with something and totally abandoned their plans and looked as if they were trying to take you off. But when you made it to the surface, you breathe fire, cause a small commotion at about 2 to 3 a.m. And some of the hex guard came over and it seems that your assailants ran off, captured you for the time being and have brought you into this, uh, basically a police quarters is the easiest way to put it, um, where they have a post of guardsmen. And you guys have now made it outside of the prison and have now made it up towards this elevator shaft and have now exited and have seen these two dragonborn assailants that looked very familiar fly off on some either small wyvern or something. You're not quite sure as you see it just kind of take off towards the east from where you're located. And we're going to pick up with you guys and then we'll get back to you, Jake. So what is the group doing? Oh, we are standing in the middle of the fucking woods. Yep, it's about 4 a.m. at this point. It's cold. It is. Yeah. Yep, the storm is uh, still brewing. Wait, very wait, strong. what about those, uh, you know, those guards we don't, totally didn't dispose of? Like, what happened to the... They're about, like, 100 yards. We should probably, like, we should probably get their stuff. Yeah, we can go so these guys it. don't freeze to death. Correct. There's also what I recall a fairly run-down small shack. If I recall correctly in that... Which we might be able to hunker down in for the night. Otherwise... Fuck if I know. Otherwise we're gonna have to... There was. There was a small building when you guys were yeah. fighting those guards. Did it have a roof? It makeshift. The building was... And it was run down. Pretty, pretty dismembered, but yeah, it seemed to have some sort of roof. Uh, uh, okay. So, let's head that direction. Yeah. Alright, give me... Somebody give me a... Uh, Either a nature or survival check or an investigation check to see if you guys can figure I'll out where that the is. Investigation check. Because it's it's been a little while and the snow is pretty heavy. Nineteen it sucks that I'm not. Sorry. Um, you take a moment. Yeah. You you gather it's actually about from where you guys are. Um, now you're facing on the back end. It's actually like north from where you're at. So you're actually gonna head north. You know it's about maybe three hundred feet from where you're at. Um, you kind of lead the party. You guys make your jump back. It's very, very windy. Um, the storm is picking up almost, it seems, every few hours. As you guys make your way back through, you find this makeshift building. Um, you guys walk up. Give me a perception check or an investigation check. Depending investigation. On, well, depend on if, what you, if you guys are looking for something. 15, mm -hmm. investigation. Uh, what are you Pulse looking for? still there. Uh, yes, they are. That's what I'm looking for. Corpses? Yeah. You find corpses. They're still there. They're okay. Then they frozen. 
Yeah, you go up awesome. in there, it's kind of snow to covered. To heat up this clothes for these losers we're saving. In a hold fire. We need more of that. That porch? We need more than that. We need like a like bonfire. bonfire. Do we? I don't think we need a bonfire. It's cold as shit. I don't. Uh, I'm sorry that you don't have meat on yeah, your bones, yeah. metal man. It's cold as fuck. Okay. And I'm pretty sure our fire breather over there. Oh, wait, we don't he, even he, have him yeah. anymore. Yeah, he's, he's gone. gone. Yeah. <laughs> yep. We have we have a guy who like just hangs out looking at like a corpse for some reason. Yeah, you still a corpse. I'm pretty oh, sure. No, so I'm pretty sure he's <clears throat> deflating. Oh no, so we started that fight with the Dragonborns, I mean, with some of like one of the card carriers. Oh, okay. But that didn't turn out to be anything. No, so, no. I still, so just look like one of those random oh, okay. like, right. humans. But I'm gonna end that because there's no reason to keep, to keep it up. Fuck, we wasted an opportunity by not letting Girth eat that one card bearer. Alright, so while you guys are figuring out a torch situation, you, now we go back to fuck this. You see inside, um, now it's very dark lit, but you see a small <laughs> little like lantern lit in the side of this um, stone wall. You notice that all the walls in here, now that you've been in here for about an hour and you've had a chance to like orient yourself after what's happened, um, even though it was like completely pitch black when you were brought through the city, you saw maybe a few lanterns, you saw stone walls and some lanterns and you didn't really get a quick chance though. You saw some areas very like ornate walls throughout the whole city even the floors and now that you're inside the same stonework follows it inside here very well done um all of it looks handmade very well constructed like dwarven of the finest construction as you look around you know that there's probably no way that you're going to get out of this cell um you notice that there's one guard that's kind of sitting off about 20 feet not really paying attention to you you have one cell on each side of you and you're working through and after a few moments you hear a door kick open and an individual walk in and you hear dwarves do you speak dwarvish i think so yes yes you hear on the other side two individuals converse yeah i heard there was some uh, dragonborn that was brought in here yeah you hear the one not speaking loud enough to be heard. He's he's still here. Captured. All right, then. Um, yes. I'll wait a moment then. You wait about another 30 more minutes, and then you hear the door open another time, and another individual walks in. You see two individuals start walking towards your direction, um, they make it to this guard, they kick his chair where he's almost now asleep. What are you doing? He kind of, uh, sorry, I wasn't, I wasn't sleeping. You kind of look over. Now give me a perception check. As you look, you see that there are two hooded dwarf, um, in size creatures. 22. Uh, you notice that both of them, just by stature, seem to be part of the hex guard. From what you've seen out at the um, blockade, and now a couple times when you were brought in very quickly, these are members of the hex guard. You see ornate white and blue, and you notice there's like this hex pattern on a bottom part of their tabard. Uh, they start making their way over immediately, just kind of dodging from part of the guardsmen. And as they make their way up to you, so you're the one that was uh, brought in. Who are you working with? Mm -hmm. I'm not working with anybody. Who are your friends that got away? Were my friends? They had me captured. They tried to recruit me for whatever going on. You see one of them, he kind of grabs a stone and just brings it over and sits. <coughs> Be honest with me. I'm being honest. What were you doing down in the prison? They had taken me down there. I was traveling the roads. I'm, as you see, I've been working on my maps. I just want to, I'm new to Hexwell. I just want to learn the lands more. And I'm, I live in Adventus, but I'm traveling and just looking for new lands and new opportunities. And these dragonborn men, they So just, they took you to the prison. So they found me on the road. I tried to put up a fight. They roughed me up pretty good. And they knocked me out, bagged me, chained me, and... 
Give me a deception check. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Deception? Yep. 19. So you're telling me they found you on the road? Yes. You kind I've of looked at the other these one. Parts. I came from the south, you know, we, you know where Inventus is? Ah, I've heard of it. Yeah. Storm region. Yeah, they... I came to and I was chained up. You see the other one? Alright, alright, enough, enough. So if you're not working with them, and you're on the road, What's your kind doing around here causing mishaps? We got young ones that are supposed to be put to death in the morning. You have any idea why that's happening? I think the- Don't lie! Assailant, or whoever, when they captured me, they had business in down in that prison. Um, I overheard them saying that they but were- But what about your people. kind? I'm not interested. Oh. Your I, kind! I've only heard rumors. Um, maybe the same you've heard, that there's some kind of... You're gathering! Yes, I've heard of the gathering. I think that's what they were trying to take me there. They want hmm. me to be a part of their whatever going on, cult, I don't know. Are you special? I think it's just because I'm dragonborn. He kind of looks at the other one. I didn't appreciate, you know, them just putting themselves on me, you know? Wasn't comfortable with it. Well, it's weird that there was uh, that much activity uh, happening in the prison at that time when we had taken all of our guards out. Yeah, there was a lot of ruckus going on, but like I said... There could have been a lot more if it would have been properly armed and manned. Mm -hmm. We have more issues pursing at the front, and, uh... Huh. They kind of walk off for a moment and they start talking. You hear just for a moment, I think he's telling the truth. They kind of look back. All right. One condition. I'll let you go. But I need you to maybe get some intel. See what I can do. I won't say anything to uh, the higher ups. The name's Bromstroke. He's a hex guard. Now, hex guard's like the guard, right? From, like, this isn't a new old guard. This no. is like the hex. Yeah, from like the capital. Like, gotcha. The big the secret. The secret. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> And, um, <clears throat> I want it to be known that, uh, you hear anything else, come and talk to me. I've been working over New Orleans for quite some time, and, uh, I trust you. You say you're traveling, I don't see any of the marks on you. You don't have any marks, do you? Oh, sir. Yeah, just let him go. You see the other one? He just... At a time like this, sir, just let him go. Where can I, where can I find you? I'm stationed here. We call it the Crooked Nest. That's just a nickname we give it. Uh, it's about eight of us stationed here. We, um... Funny thing is, we actually call it that to root out some of the uh, bad gods and stuff over the years. That's why we called the uh, nickname over the years. They've called us that for calling out the uh, crooked ones. So, um, anyway, if you need anything, let me know. But you could give me some information, especially before the elections. It might help uh, everyone out. You're looking for specifics on the Dragonborn, these Dragon Scale Keep. Yeah. I want to know what's really happening there. No, there's something. And he kind of just leans back and sits back down on his stool. Yeah, just let him go. But these two, and he points to the other sides. They're definitely going to be put out and uh, work in the fields. So um, yeah, you hear, oh my God, please, no, I've been out there all week. 
I said. And then after a moment, you hear the door just, the chains just lash through. You can keep whatever you were working on. Just take it with you. If anybody asks, we had no trouble with you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. See, now as you look closer, very old dwarvish man. He's got like receding hair that goes all the way back, but pretty much almost like a ponytail back with this thick beard that you see is all white. Um, you get up and you kind of make your way out. They give you a few of your things back, um, but nothing more than just... What What exactly did I have? No. So essentially <laughs> they give you... Okay, so when you were taken out, they took pretty much all your shit. When you were brought in here, they just took like some of your boots, you know, some of your basic attire, and they've just handed that back to you. That's it. You so, got your armor. Yeah, essentially. Armor. Yep. No money. And no your money. underclothes. Yes. No Albert? Nope. Nope. Oh. Oh. Good money. Paid so, more for the armor, though. Yeah. <laughs> so you are brought out, to to and you do you exit. <laughs> Okay, so you take a walk a couple more feet. You see that there's maybe one other dwarf that's working at a small study, the only light lit. The rest of the court is pretty dark. You see it's like a very nicely made stone uh, two-story building. Uh, you make your way out, and back to you guys. So, you guys got a torch, some wood? Yeah, we would have spent uh, an amount of time. We'll say 30, yeah, 40 so minutes that, gathering some stuff, starting a fire starting to fire the probably in this house if possible is there like a fire for this this ramshackled shed or anywhere i'm assuming you could break it, an opening it, it, it is but you you can make you know like a break in the corner if you wanted to start something over there yeah. or at least maybe get something started um yeah. if you got too big though it yeah. may burn down <laughs> what's yeah. left but yeah, the snow is also built up like a mass almost like a wall in a way on yeah. part of the building using it kind of like an inner working mm -hmm. um you guys as you guys are sitting here though give me a perception check as you guys have now you know started a fire i'll say you guys actually you guys can have a short rest if you wish hell yeah um all right my action search back in so we'll, we'll, so, so we'll just say you guys sit here for an hour because him being interrogated we'll say at about now it's about 5 a.m um the early morning is still a little bit off in the distance it's still dark though you know it's probably getting close to it um the snow is still building and while you guys are sitting around perceptions and i'll say disadvantage <laughs> Because you guys are doing stuff resting. Do you remember that seven platinum I got from that? Yep. Yeah. I, it's a good thing I left 19. that at the house. I rolled a 20 and an 18. 18. 15. 15. 22. So you guys, very 18. faintly off in the distance, you hear what sounds like some sort of wildlife. Footsteps, maybe? A couple howls. Definitely dire wolves you guys hear over the hour. Um, nothing that comes too close. You guys wait a few more moments and you hear something that's kind of lumbering close. You hear kush, 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 something crunching on the snow. You wait a minute and then you see this large bear about 100 feet away. You wait a moment. That's in shooting distance. You sit. It kind of lumbers out. It doesn't seem to notice you all kind of in the building. You guys just are quiet. It kind of <laughs> sniffs around. And then you see it walk back. It tr kind of like pads around a couple more times, maybe about five minutes. And then you hear it kind of, and then two little cubs come out and you see through the snow, they just kind of go out throughout this field. You wait maybe another two minutes and you see it just walk on by. You wait a few more minutes. You see some other wildlife. It seems as if the storm is affecting everybody. Everybody's trying to move somewhere, um, whatever this is. It's it's not good. So, you guys rest. You guys gather. What are you guys doing? Uh, well, if we ain't going to town, we need to go to the bikes. It's the only place we'd beat up or fuck this. Uh, yeah. Do we need to sit out of whatever the fucking situation he's in? But that's... We just hope for the best. He wasn't on the dragons <laughs> we saw leave. Yeah, you're not wrong. It's really all we can do. Um... Uh, the other, yeah, if we can get back to the bikes. Karen, you know, uh, 
Um, we can then just just okay. Yeah, and hopefully by the time we we'll wake up, fuck this shit. Yeah, and I don't think we'll we'll run real real problems because we wouldn't be that far off a beat path. So the only people walking by are gonna be travelers. Jake, it's not like we're gonna be included at this point. Give me a wisdom saving throw. You guys are good. I think my wisdom's. Oh, oh wait, be more. Uh, 14. Yeah. Uh, it really makes it. We have we've toasted up some uh, some corpses enough to steal their clothes, so the Joven brothers should be fully clothed now. Um, did the corpses have anything other, else other than nope, just clothes? They had the, the dwarf they, suits, <clears> but <throat> the only they had their, they had just know, their uh, basic uh, garden attire. Yeah. You know. They had the snow boots. What are you looking at? Oh the whole time we've been resting here, you've just been staring oh, at me. This is a brother. <laughs> oh. Oh, hell. <laughs> yeah, you see one of them? <laughs> you see, you see Garth and the other one just kind of eyeing each other. What are you drinking? Can I have some? <laughs> so where are you taking us? Uh, at this point, I will uh, I'll flash the Storm Chaser bandana. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But back to Givak? Yeah. Well... We got we got to fly across a mountain and then to pick up some bikes. Uh, you guys drive these bikes? You guys ride these? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Good because you're gonna be driving. <laughs> you're gonna be driving them. We're not good at driving these. I mean, I can drive them. These uh, guys. They yeah, kind of look okay. at each other. No. I'm okay. <laughs> but what's up with the storms we're hearing about? It's it, bad. It's just bad. They kind of are looking around like. Yeah. So yeah, we. Uh, I mean, we are a group of individuals of some some amount of strength, and currently we're trying to like, figure that out, uh, which involves going to find a guy to get us to a different continent. But to find that guy, we had to get you guys, and so it's who's just, that guy? Huh? Who's this guy? I don't remember his name offhand immediately. I'd have to I'd have to check my notes. Uh, Jack of Fiend on roof. Yeah, yeah, that's it's in my notes. So I got it. Yeah, I think I got a fucking I got a million of these. Bitches. Hey, look, there it is, top of the top of the thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, I got a, I got we we got to talk to a Jack of Fiend. Uh, I don't have that. And uh, yeah, and then we can uh, fucking he 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 has an airship or something. He knows how to get us places. And then we got to do hope. some stuff on a different continent, uh, which will get us a guy that I don't know the name of, and that guy might be able to fix the problem. Or something. Yeah, what a, and what then a plan. We also got. Yeah, we all, there's also the child off. trafficking and they the fact that the red council might be making it back. Storm. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get you home. So how are we? Not, how are we getting? Uh, I'm folding tinfoil back like to right now. these bikes you say we have. And I'm handing what? I'm handing out tinfoil hats right now. <laughs> how much tinfoil do you have? Are you just enough to make hats? You're out of, you're out of hats. You, you have enough to make three I have, hats. I have enough to make three hats. I want to add. Is, does it count the one I already have on? Or no, is it three that's additional yours. Hats? You have three additional hats. Three additional hats. Depending on how long you can catch. And it's heavy. It's heavy. It's not thin tin foil. It's, <laughs> oh, it's, it's heavy. Like, it's, like it's, it's, it's like quarter inch <laughs> thick tin foil. It's thick. Oh, oh wow. This you is definitely make something out of This is not thin current tin foil. No, this is thick. This is crude tin foil. Yeah. <laughs> so this is heavy duty. Yeah. Nothing can breed my mind. <laughs> or your mind. <laughs> or yours. Got, you, you, you look at Magnus' neck and it's bulging <laughs> with just muscles and veins <laughs> as he <laughs> stares at him. <laughs> Traps that are immense like mountains. <laughs> He's holding up my mind is my own. <laughs> Ten pounds of aluminum. <laughs> the brothers are just like. No one's gonna get No, here. it comes down to here. It looks like Magneto's helmet a little bit. <laughs> Jesus, but it's made of tin foil. Fuck. So it's like a little crinkly, a little my bit. Thoughts are my own. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, no, one, <laughs> no one can in, in, infiltrate. Who am I? Who are you? <laughs> okay. So back to the topic, hand. <laughs> oh, I can. I can fly us there. Um. So yeah, we can. We can do that. Uh, I got 50 feet of rope, which is not enough to make a really good harness, but it, it's enough to make like a fucking rope to tie you guys to it. How long can you can you two hold your breath? Maybe like two and a half minutes. We had to do it for training. So not long enough for the 
fly. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't, we're not. I'm not gonna fly that high. No, I was gonna stick them in the bag of holding, but no, 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 no I don't. <laughs> that's not a good idea. But if typically, it, the only thing that goes in bag of hoarding is corpses. Okay, so how much <laughs> can it? Okay, quits he could technically Quattle survive. Is, yeah. It can fly. But it's I don't. A huge, it's a huge creature. It's a huge beast. Thought, yeah, with a strength of fifteen. Yeah, but the snake. for every size category yeah, above medium, instead can it of, carry like a thousand pounds? So the other thing is that the one corner away here, we also cast endure, uh, enhance ability on strength to give advantage on strength and double your carrying capacity on top of being a huge creature. Um, how much, so, how much is a huge creature? Yeah, I'm just wondering. Uh, so for medium, it's 15 times your strength score. For large, I think it's 20. I would assume is you uh, tw- is 25 or something. I don't know. I don't know off. off it's end. it's 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 a big enough difference. It doesn't fucking matter at all. With, I mean, with the enhance ability, it should be with double with 25. It'd be like five to six hundred pounds. Yeah. Um. So I'm I'm on that upper end. Uh, and then we also don't have strength that doubles it again. Well, no, that's I no, that's, that's with it doubled. That being said, we also don't have the fucking paladin with heavy armor. Um, with well, and the brothers, the, the brothers weigh about, we'll say, yeah, two seventy five so, total. Yeah, Probably I, the same amount as Jake. Yeah, we're <laughs> we're on that upper end. That's why I'm. I well, just said total for the uh, the the bull's yeah. strength yeah, or whatever it's called. One day is bull strength. Bull strength. <laughs> yeah, bears <laughs> endurance bull strength. Uh, yeah, yeah, and so if, if we cast that, that. <laughs> that's and even then it, it gives advantage on the strength checks or any. I should be able to make. Yeah, you guys are good. You're fine. Yeah. So uh, yeah, if I recall, I asked you last week if you saw this a second level spell slot for it left. Cool. Um, well, I, I got a third level, but that would be passing. I think I, the the plan is to to sleep once we get back. To the yes. Place. Um. So but yeah, well, all we got to do is go find a like kind of a clearing for. I'll, I'll shape shift. We'll make a. I mean, we only have fifty feet of rope this time, as opposed to the full two fifty. Or one 200. second. Do we have like things to make a shelter, like on our person? Could we like throw some of the things from the shelter we have now in this bag of holding? Oh, that's a good point. Yes. Yeah. And at video? this point, it's a it's a good point. Um, everybody, give me a Constitution save. You guys have been out for an hour. All just died. I thought we were turning inside that half. The- yeah, but it's, it's not it's not like a, a good enclosure here. It's 22. good enough for a fire. You're good. Well, I just I just need you guys to pass uh, 14. On save? Yep. Oh, fail. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Our save bitch is not hey. here right now. Hey, no. Fail. All right. Well, then everybody's going to... If you fail, you're going to take... 14. Me, me, three me, points me. of cold damage. 17. You're good. 52 points. These are rolls are going away. Why not go? Say three. Three. Got it. Three Got points of cold damage. Fucking... Oh, crazy. That's cold. Yeah. I didn't take like, work on the weather. Extra. Because that's only constant. No, it's just the type. You're taking cold damage from the snow. This boy likes con saves. Oh. Yeah, but now you do it. Now you do it both. I could. I can. But that's another four levels. All right. So what are you guys do? Uh, we're gonna go find a clearing. We're gonna find. Uh, I'm gonna shape shift. Shape shift into a bigger bowl. Shape shit. Oh gosh. Yeah. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna take the fifty feet of rope. He's over there. You see him. What are you doing with the snow? I'm making a snowman. Yeah. I'm going to take uh, the 50 feet of rope off and that to fucking... Why, why not, Girth? You did a pretty good job last time. I think All right. I don't remember. Team making a harness? Uh, yeah, it, it won't be as good as the last one because it's only 50 feet as opposed to a full 200. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's, really... it's, an, it's oh, enough to yeah. hold Jesus. on to something. 50 feet. What yeah. happened to the wrestler? Uh, it was tied between oh, him and a, and a dwarf. And yeah, it was just like... So, I, so uh, essentially, we have like one rope... Tied around 50 his neck. feet. Okay. We have one rope around his neck. It's a big, it's and, like the re- it's and, it's, and the rest I mean, of it, it's like yeah. a collar, except yeah. we're like I still slotted have that into rope, it. though, right? Because it was tied around me. Yeah, but before they yeah, cut. Yeah, yeah, but you're, yeah, you're gone. gone. It's with you. No, I'm just it, saying. It, it, do I anywhere. still have it? No. 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 Okay. Even mm-hmm. though they they took it. Yeah. Who took it? You don't know. No, you, you don't got a rope. Yeah, you don't have it. <laughs> We're gonna have to buy rope. That's all you gotta worry about. Yeah. Have to buy don't rope. have it. And weapons. Yeah. First, he's probably. So you guys, out. somebody give me a. Uh, give me a. Yeah. Give me a survival check or a nature check. No, actually, let's do. Oh, jeez. Slide of hand. I'm a bird, so I can't. Okay, yeah. Just give me a slide of hand. 
It will say, if Gert does this, I'll give you advantage to see if you can make enough hand slots for everybody. Because currently, yeah, you lost a guy, but you gained an extra set of hands. 24. And, okay. I'll say you make five. So someone's going to have to... Two, three. Joven brother, Joven brother. Five. Well, one, two... Well, there, no, Double he's bird. flying. Oh, yeah. yeah. Three. One, three, three, two, four, five. three. Joven, Joven. Yeah, so you're good. Yeah. So you guys have five. So everybody will have um, one holster. So when you guys are flying yeah. and we're making those strength checks again through the wind, yeah. everybody will at least have that and won't be a disadvantage or anything. Right. Yeah. Would, uh, would going fly. at like a slow pace help at all? You're just like, Not in this you? storm. <laughs> Not no, at I this pull point. up, I just jump back on. I'm like, I'm good. And uh, I will... Uh, yeah, after... Oh, no, I should have done it first. Whoops, totally forgot. Oh, well. Uh, too late. Uh, then, yeah, once everyone's situated and ready to go, I'll fucking take off. It's all like that. <laughs> so, you... Too late. <laughs> <We're dead. laughs> yeah, and everybody hops on, you guys yeah. gather on, you hit a... <sighs> the storm is really picking up, like it always has, but mm -hmm. you're starting to kind of get used to it, but it's just biting cold. You guys take off, everybody, you <laughs> lift up, you start ascending about 100... 200 feet mm -hmm. and as you do so you start to lurch back and kind of take off and as you do so everybody give me a strength check that's ability on me and him okay oh yeah oh because you can upgrade to cast it nice on impact of two people easy so this so, is just a strength check yep okay i have advantage on this so how far do we fall off <laughs> <laughs> 14. Uh, oh the Joba brothers rolled really well <laughs> Uh, what do I so Steps. you lurch forward and they hold onto the reins. Would you roll 14? 23. You're good. Two. Oh, so immediately you lurch and just the like momentum, you you let go. Can I, can I use start. my telekinetic to like shove him down, like onto him? You're, he's already kind of like sliding back down his back a little bit. He starts taking off. You like grab back on. Give me a uh, another strength check. Or you can do like a... Yeah, but I don't know how it interacts with you moving. Sure, I'll give you a slide of hand check to see if you can grab onto the rope quick enough. I'll say it's at disadvantage uh, though. Can he get advantage because I'm pushing him down? Sure, I'll say because you see him kind of fall back. You kind of push him back. So just a normal roll. I'm just kind of hand. holding him to him. Normal roll, slide of hand. All right, well, the first one was a six. 16. So as you huh, 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 and you feel the push back, you grab it with one more hand and you uh, pull back up. You feel the snow just, just smattering your faces and you guys keep on taking off. Now, how high are you going? Last time you guys flew, you were almost like 800 feet up uh -huh. to where you guys like got so thick where the snow you couldn't really see. Yeah. Um, I think I shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> Joven's brother's like, oh, uh, I shit myself. Okay. Uh, so it's no, after five. that short rest. Everybody is this thinking. your friend we're shitting on? No. Yes. <laughs> Tell him I'm sorry. No, he's not. The other brother's like, he can fucking hear you, brother. <laughs> Alright, so how high are you going? Uh, fuck you. Yeah. Um, this storm is picking up, um, probably not as high, but still high enough to be, uh, let's go with, like, sticks on Okay, so, are you going over <laughs> the wall? I would, I would prefer, if possible, because I got four hours of shapeshift, to go, uh, like, screw around. Okay, possible. so you... Not, not way, way over, here, but... Right. Okay, so you start skirting over from where you you know know to believe the like center mass of New Wall to be. Yeah, yeah. You start kind of coasting off towards the right side, mm -hmm. which would be from your direction, mm -hmm. the east, but it's actually the west. Yeah. And you start going off. You guys travel for about twenty minutes. Mm -hmm. Fine. You get high enough. It's barely visible. Mm -hmm. You see some of the mountain uh, region beneath, um, and you are already extremely elevated. 
So as you fly, you feel the harshness on your lungs a little bit, those of you that need to breathe. Um, as you guys do make it about another 30 minutes, the weather starts picking up. I need strength checks again. As you feel a huge gust of wind just <laughs> kind of roll into you. You notice Orm kind of rolls with it the best he can, but... 19 as well. Good. I'm rolling good on my saves. Huh? <laughs> Five. Oh my God. Shit. Bro, I'm not strong. Immediately, so I'm holding him. So once again, <laughs> you see him. He just yeah. goes. Yeah. And yeah. you go to grab him? I'm grabbing him. Okay, so you you go to grab him. Give me a uh, slide of hand. This or... is me grab. I'm using my brain power to grab it. I can do that like eight times. And you, and you can just hold him? Yeah. All right, so you just. You I'm see... holding him. I'm, he's oh, being like, he's being spatched right to the brain. So you see Gertz just kind of push and start falling. Him back and you just no, slam no, him no, down essentially into the back so currently you're being like pushed down psionically with telepathic force by magnus because you're falling up you're being pushed in as you take off once again you guys go for about another 20 ish minutes at this point so 60 minutes now? Well, yeah about an hour at this point you guys see i recap well, you see a small hard. outcropping among the tops of the mountains of what looks to be like this large blackish pole that is kind of sticking out of the mountainous region in the landscape. You guys look amongst it and with the snow, you can't really tell what it is, but you're maybe 600, uh, 600 yards, um, maybe half a mile, give or take. Can't really tell with the snow. Check that out. Maybe after a nap. Uh, <laughs> so there is there. So it's a black like rock outcrop uh, on top of this mountain. Is this the central mountain that New All is? No, it's not central. You guys have kind of gone off to the side where there are just many like Which juts on, and on the west side of yes. New Ulm. Okay, yes. Explain what this looks like again. So, so imagine you are on. You see many like peaks, and among them all, you see one that is not a natural peak. And it seems to be like a large black structure among the night that you like, see. Like a tower or a possibly. Is it like a spire? Is it like a you're not sure with the weather and whatnot. You're not sure. You just so we see. So you have this black, obviously man-made looking object. Yes, cylindrical in shape from what you can tell, but it's you know at least as high as you are. You're not quite sure if it goes any higher. Wait, how high are we? One level. About 600 so feet up from. And this thing is. This is an artificial 600 foot structure. <laughs> That's From what deal. you can tell. What? We'll check uh, that out later. At this point, <laughs> you're like walking out. Before I walk away from the yes, the barracks or whatever, I'm going to ask Brom Stroke. Brom Stroke. Yes. He, uh, well, I, I'm okay to just walk out of the city. I won't run into any trouble. I mean, some of the townsfolk might think you're trouble. You they have, might give you something. Do you have any extra uh, coverings, shawls, blankets, or face oh. coverings I could use? Yeah, he kind of motions over, and you see one of the guards. He goes and fetches what looks to be like a, a quite thick hooded robe. Take this. It's um, cold out there. We have a couple that uh, we don't use, but um, might want to keep as much as you can covered and walk quickly and not down the main pathways most of the shops are going to be opening soon and uh you don't want to be caught out you're gonna to have to figure out how to get out of the town if you want to though the blockade's really um jamming everything up good luck <laughs> do you have any suggestions <laughs> I mean, you. <laughs> you say you're from Inventus, so just show me your papers. Okay. Tell them where you're from. It may take a little while, but uh, if you're not a criminal or anything, they, um... I better get there soon, because the earlier the better. Maybe it's less congested right now. It should be. Well, everybody's sleeping inside the town. Anybody wishing to leave will be probably heading that way soon if they're not there already. Thank you kind of nods and sits back so you guys are all kind of flying over still you make your way towards the city now as you exit you see now under the moonlight after you have a moment it's snowed 
and snow covered for the most part. You see some individuals trying to keep some of the streets cleared. Um, but you notice that this has walls that go stories tall. Like, New Wall is very high in build. Many of these buildings are all built in, like, perfect stone and is, like, upkept, like, very clean. There is almost no moss or anything that is growing on, and all the stone is, like, perfect colored and textured within itself. As you're kind of walking around, you see most of the lanterns are, like, laced with almost, like, a golden, like, hue to it with, like, a blue emblem within it that almost has, like, this N and almost this very cursive-like writing. As you walk down, you can see everything is, like, almost, like, noble-esque, you know, uh, high stature. There doesn't seem to be a slums anywhere that you look. And as you go through, uh, give me a an investigation check as you're trying to look for a way out of the city. That's uh, that's intelligence, right? Yeah. No. I got a one. Never played while well. you're supposed to just ask a guard dog. I rolled a two. Yeah. So you um you take the better half of like we'll say two and a half three hours before you finally break down and ask someone. And he looks at you. Give me a persuasion check as you go up and you see everybody that you're walking around is almost entirely dwarfs. You see vi- dwarves. You see maybe one, maybe half elf or human amongst the travels here and there. Well, twelve. He kind of looks at you. Eh. I just came from uh, talking to, you know, Bromstruck. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He uh, he held me for a minute, questioned me. I'm just trying to get home to Inventus. I just want to get out of here. So, uh... And he kind of points off, and you see what looks to be like a narrow alleyway. Go through there, and um. Yeah, it's two lefts. Thank then you. I think the gate's in that way. All right. Kind of walks off. You travel down. Um, as you do so, you see a couple of shifty individuals down the alleyway, but they kind of scale you, and you're much larger than them. They don't seem to attempt anything. You make your way. You take the two lefts immediately as they come, and you're met with a large gateway that opens up to the center of like what looks to be some sort of plaza to this huge exit where you see a line of about three individuals and four hex guards with about five uh, horsed hex guards on the side of them. Three on one side and two on the other. You approach and you go to get in line. Now, you guys, Mr. Flying Crew, you guys make it about another... Almost hours, you start peering back. Are you guys checking out this uh, pier? No? We're just going to go around. All right, so you guys all fly around. Straight checks. Huh? Straight checks. Hot dog. Foot long. Can we do like for me? Who's got the foot long? Wait, can I have your vape? You buff him? (laughs) What's his thing? Fifteen. So plus one, two. Two plus two. Fourteen. Use the dice. It doesn't fucking matter. Four. Four. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I rolled four twice. You're there playing Candy Crush, and that's why the get the dice gods hate you, huh? Candy Crush. Right. No, I'm, I'm saying, saying you got the you got the bad Are you juju. You playing fucking Runescape over there? He's playing fucking Runescape. I right. would be. No. Brian is 19. 19? What'd you oh, get? Oh, six, but I can fly, so I'm going to use that. All right, so you start to f- f- pull back into the force of the wind. You kind of push through, and you're kind of keeping up, but can you? What's your flight speed? It's double my speed, but I'm just using it to get a better hold of the rope. I'm okay, so you it. fly back up. and just, Give me a slight mm-hmm. hand check. Nine. What was nine that? plus five? <laughs> Fourteen. All right, so you barely as it. It's kind of you grab back on with one and then gather yourself. Now you guys make your way, cresting. I only got four. Oh yeah, but he's holding. Oh wait, that would have totally broke when you fell off. Like holding them on, you're 
There, yeah, there's no way you would have kept your concentration on all that. Oh, yeah, so we'll like say you just you start sliding oh. off the back. As you do flying, so, that's fucking flying. Right. That's so as you, you you start going, uh, we'll say Brian's probably gonna dip down. How <laughs> uh, That's. Uh, uh, does anybody have anything? I mean, I have feather falling. Well, that'll slow your fall. Yeah, but then we we goof him up. Well, are you casting that? All right. So you you fall back. You kind of wait a moment, shitting your pants. And then, <laughs> feather fall. Like it slows you, but the wind it kind of picks you up and starts moving you slightly. Uh, we'll say he kind of veers off and comes back, drops and descends about 300 feet, picks you up. And as this happens, you guys see another small black cylinder-like structure <clears throat> a little farther off in a different region. This time, you guys give me a perception check. This time it's shooting a ballista. This time it's a missile and. <laughs> Well, and this time it's a lot closer. So you just... Oh, he, he just fell off. Fell. You had to like, <laughs> kind of come back and catch him because he's casting feather fall and the wind's kind of blown him back. So you've kind of gone back to catch him and now after going about another 30 minutes, you've now seen another black cylinder, smaller though, in a different side of the mountain, like different part of the mountain that seems to be uh, in the area where everybody's doing perceptions. 18. You see a light at the top of this, and it is very bright, and you see what look to be individuals scurrying at the top of it, moving. You see something manned, and then you got a 23. Yeah. You see a large, beaming, like, black, uh, very small flying projectile about oh maybe 100 feet in the air from where you guys are heading right now. As you're turning around flying, you just see this thing. There's the radio jammer button. The the so radar jammer button see coming, makes me visible. Coming towards us? Towards him, not you. I'm, towards I'm him. Back. Not yet. Where? You're still oh, like, I'm he's still coming to get you. Me. Yeah, you see this though, with a 23 especially. I got those brains, right? Yep. Hey, there's some shit flying towards us. Okay, <laughs> you pick me up first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what are you doing? I'm doing. Yep. Can, does uh, the 18 let me see you? Uh, take you the see action the light. dodge. Uh, I need a 20 or above to see the projectile. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go straight for him. I'm trying to pick his ass up. Right, so, shield while wild shaped. So as you go down, those. you see it, and as you pick him up, you see this. And now, close enough, about 50 feet, it's mm -hmm. starting to arc down. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely a blister shot. Mm -hmm. You see this large, huge arrow starting to just. You see it ripping through part of the snow, and it kind of winds and whips through the wind a little bit, and it's probably gonna hit you. It's close enough Am I that able to see it. You all can see it now. Ogre splash. Are you? All right, like, give it to me. This will be at disadvantage. First one is a. <laughs> Or whatever the mobs are playing. 15? That'll hit. The first one? Yep. So as you... You see it and it just kind of... It just splinters it. Another 15. Jesus. It splinters it just enough that it kind of off-kilters it. It doesn't really destroy it. But with the wind, it just... And it drops just enough below you that it offs its trajectory. And with doing so, it tapers below you. You see now these individuals on this top as you guys are it's about... Like, what does Eldritch Blast look like? It's a purple, purple, beam of crackling to energy <laughs> breaks towards a creature within range. Oh, yes, yeah, so they definitely saw us shooting something. The yes. Uh, he can make it look like... But and now you guys hear... How far away is that um, tower? The tower from you guys is about 300 feet oh, now. Oh, now I'm going to... And now you guys see what looks to be another one. <laughs> yeah, I'm not... As it starts... To, another you one. you I, start turning I, back. I mean, is there, okay, wait, what's this tower look like? Give me a dexterity check. What's this tower look like at this top? There's like a light... Yes, it's almost like a lighthouse with like a brim and, and around you it. You see little people scurrying around. Uh, yep, and it looks like along the side I, of it, it's got like a stairwell away, right? that kind of yeah, three hundred feet. Can I? Sh I have a range of six hundred feet. With It'd be a disadvantage. Not with sharpshooter. I do not impose within six hundred feet. I yep. do not impose. I'd say It'd the arrow with the wind. Conditions. Yeah, the wind it, it and everything. It's not range. Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't be the rip the range. It's the weather. And the conditions, I mean, you're on the back of a fucking bird in gust-like winds. 
if you try, if you pull the bow, but you can try. You're not holding onto a rope. Yeah. He can, he can shoot Eldritch Blast. Yeah, but I can fly. Oh, I, it's a 19 on dexterity. Okay, yeah, you're good. So you just you miss it. You start going back now. If you're gonna let loose, you better do so now. Are you shooting? Yeah, I'm gonna shoot the light. All right. The the seem like they're aiming twenty three. The bird. They're aiming towards the bird. It seems like that. Twenty three. So you you what's the damage? You do seem to hit it. Twelve. Twelve. You do so and you see it flicker and then flicker and then flicker. And it just keeps every once in a while. That's enough for us to get out of here and help. It just almost I is like now right blinking. <laughs> it's almost like blinking. Yeah. Now you guys, you guys coast out. You guys start making it back to where you can far yeah. down to your left. I'd say. Wait, hold on. After leaving this tower that shot at us, I wouldn't head straight directly towards the bikes. I would come off. And then cut. Well, I figured you were going I, off to the right and, and then going to veer yeah, back at over. At least until like out of yep. shot. Okay, I don't so want you, them tracking us to these Yep, so you guys go yep. a decent ways mm -hmm. around, say another 30-ish minutes, and then start veering where you can see small little bits of lantern lit where the huge blockade was. But in your distance, it's tiny little specks. You guys take yeah, the about, moment. Probably what, six, seven now? Yeah. yeah, you guys now with the sun definitely starting to come up, start seeing the lanterns somewhat dim down, and you can see white snow covering everything, just shining, almost blinding your vision in a way. You guys kind of coast back around, and you see droves of people lining up down the main trail well that is leading all the way into New Wall. You guys coast back around now. How close do you want to land to the blockade? It is daylight, and if you guys coast down, yeah, like visibility on. And... <laughs> okay, all right. So I'll, they're just gonna uh, see five uh, dark individuals <laughs> that, <laughs> holding that, onto a rope for their dear oh, fucking geez. life. Okay, that, that, that five, five floating a giant, people. Oh Jesus! Five Jesus. floating people might be a little. The Joven brothers are just kind of sitting yeah, there. Like, oh, fuck. A giant bird is easier to see than. Yeah. Hey, let me make their checks. Yeah. I didn't make their checks. Oh, yeah, they're good. Dude, hot. Thank God. Hot. Thank God. Anyway, so. Uh, fucking, so, all right, hold on. So there's might not be a good idea. city, right, at this point. There, bro. I'm just saying, that might not yeah, be. Well, I already cast them, so. City. <laughs> yeah, so shut Blockade. Up. Yep. Line of people. Yep. Coming in from this angle. Yep. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to, so if, like, thicket of, or bikes. Yep, bike, that's on both yep. sides, on both sides of the blockade, thicket yep. of woods. Uh, right. no. I will yeah, park up. if there's any kind of clearing. So if this is kind of where we park the bikes, you know, I want to, I want to say 200 yards. Okay. 600 feet at least. Okay, so at yeah, that I range, you're going to be like 500 yards from the blockade. Uh, blockade over here. Is is it a position that's going to be easily like seen during the day? Yeah. Oh, okay. You probably need to be then, about a mile then, out. It's not then, the yeah. storm is that like this low is not so heavy that it's impeded vision. Probably beyond like a mile yet. Then then I will so line of people yep. i'll keep going gotcha and then we can we can cut after a while because people are going to be less likely to check out a big well actually you can't see a big bird but they're going to be less likely to check it out than the barricade motherfuckers and then we can cut back along with the people but yeah i'm going to keep going okay I'll so go another 10 minutes you guys fly down you find Please a dance. decent alcove yeah we'll walk back all right so you guys fly down you make it. Nothing seems to be out of the ordinary. You guys go a little bit farther. So now there's almost uh, three quarters of a mile, half a mile back to the blockade. You guys land. You gather yourselves. You transform back. Uh, well, yeah. yeah. And now you guys are all sitting there. And this is where we go back to fuck this, where you are in line. And at your current point in time, it's about 6 a.m. Where in the timeline they are still flying. You are sitting there, waiting in line. You see the first individual go, and as you get up there, you are now second in line. You see the individual in front of you. You see one of the hex guards, who is a dwarf, but humans and half elves, and a mixture of some others that you're not quite sure behind. 
You see the dwarf. Papers and registration. You see the individual. I um, I live here in New I don't have papers other than I'm seeking to just get outside of the town. No one's leaving. The storm's too much. We're keeping everybody in lockdown. No one's getting out of the city unless you're part of the guard. Do you have a job? I, I don't have a job. I'm just trying to see if my family's okay that live beyond the wall. You're going to have to just hope they make it inside. Ah. Uh, there's no way I can get out. Not without a job or proper registration. Like I said, lockdown. Next! And he kind of goes over and just shoves the guy over to the side. You're up. Hello. Papers and registration. I'm from Inventus. I've acquired an estate there. Mm. I just, uh, I'm a traveler of these parts, and I just... Not I much traveling to happened today, I'm sorry. I see that, but I still <laughs> want to go out there. Well, that's not, did you just hear that guy? Yeah, they want lockdown. It's fucking snowing everywhere. There's storms. I'll be all right. You'll be all right. I'll be all right. I breathe fire. My name's... He kind of looks around, the other guards start... <laughs> They're just chuckling. Give me a persuasion check. <laughs> 13. He says they'll be all right, and I don't buy it. You're going to need to do better than that. What do you really need out of the town? Family, that's not good enough. You got a job? Anything that can really get you out of here? Well, I've been storm chasing quite recently. After a moment, one of the guys comes over and he looks at you. Take down your hood. You do that, one of the guy kind of leans over and talks to him. Are you sure? And you see the one guy, he nods. You're sure? That was months ago. And the other guy just, I'm sure if it's a. You wouldn't happen to know a Pug Jameson, would you? Ooh. I have not seen him in a long time. But you know the I do name! Know him, yeah. Hmm. You see the other guy step down and get off of his horse and. Tff, tff. I'm pretty sure I saw you outside of uh, one of the cities in Geom quite a ways back. We we're setting up blockades looking for individuals. I wasn't part of the Hex Guard yet. You were traveling in a caravan. I've been in many caravans. Yeah. No, I've seen a golden dragonborn like you. Okay. They're around these parts. Apparently they're causing trouble. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Uh, Bromstroke told me to yeah. see if I've heard of it, see if I can find some more information for him, so. What are you doing in these parts, though? Driving the lands, been making maps. So I'm pretty sure he was wanted in Geom for something. Rocks or somebody were after him, and I'm pretty sure it was this guy. I don't think guy. that was me. Give me a persuasion check. Uh, 18 plus 6. 20. You see the dwarf? I don't know. There's been all kinds of things happening here recently. He doesn't seem to be causing any issues. I'm sure, sir. I've seen him before. He's not up to any good. You should just chain him while we have the chance now. <laughs> he looks at you, the dwarf, and it looks you up and down. Did he say that loud enough for me to hear? Oh, yeah. Okay. Look, I was just chained. I just tried to get abducted by Dragonborn, doing God knows what. You hear the in. one scoff, maybe you should have kept you in chains. And then the dwarf just kind of chimes up, All right, this is what we're going to do since nobody's getting along here. 
You can leave. Just go. You can <laughs> shut up and get get back to your quarters now. Yeah, yeah. This is all going to be smoothed <laughs> over, and we're done talking about <laughs> it. Done. He I looks get over fired for his like, like, suspected racism. Not so, me. So we not should, filing that We should paperwork. not just let him go like this. You see one of them. Take down this one. Sketch him. You see, as you get ready to leave, <laughs> one individual goes out and tries to get a quick little jot down, but you kind of quickly move as un I'd say as indiscretionably as you can just dart out and <laughs> do it best way I can say it you make it out to where you see about a no man's land that after you walk through a large gateway of stone and the chains and the gate is already open as people are being brought in and out you make your way through hundreds of people and then no man's land for about a mile all the way to where the blockade is where you see people are just trickling through you start walking where you get to the blockade and on this side you just walk on through they let you through without asking any questions and then immediately they step back in and close the blockade and if you want back in you got to get back in line you have now made it out you what are you doing they have not left or landed yet. They are still from the bikes, about 30 minutes from landing. You know where the bikes are, though. Right. So I don't know where they are, so I'm going to the bikes. Okay. That's, yeah, that's the only point of contact that I know. So, so you go back to the bikes. You know where they're at. I'm going to... Hmm, I'm not going to walk, like, direct. Kind of like how we came. So you want to go off into the woods a little bit and yeah. then kind of... Kind of okay. act like I'm just kind of, you, like you know where they're at. They're, wandering. They were close <laughs> enough. Yeah, you, yeah. you make your way back, and as you do so... You see that there is a note left on the bikes. You see just, oh no, it's covered in snow, but as you go up to it, you see something left there. The rest of you, though, as you guys now have landed, and you guys start trekking your mile or so back, you guys start doing so. Shadow figure check, okay. Now, the rest of you, as you guys are making what your way back, perception? Yep. As you guys are making your way back, you guys see one guard riding on horse, 14. 14, riding back down from where you had walked maybe 10 minutes ago, on horseback, hearing, I swear I saw something flying over here. And he just, and he just takes off past you guys as you guys are walking in the woods. You guys make it, seem to be not noticing you guys. But somebody saw you flying. You notice that as you guys keep going up, the blockade is almost at a standstill. The Jovan brothers and you guys all make it to the bikes where you are met back up with Fuck This, where you see Holy him. Holy shit. You're <laughs> all <right. laughs> We assume you were. I told you. Dead. I told you to get out. Yeah. I, uh, wow, you have nothing. If it was the corpse man, we would have never seen him again. Yeah, probably. Shit. <laughs> point, you know? I did, what happened? They stripped me. I, thank God I still had enough energy to breathe some fire because it helped. Did it? it? Got me out of it. Met I met um one of the one of the Hexwell guards, one of the well, I don't know if he was some sort of general or what, but his name was Bromstroke. Very concerned about what's going on in Dragon Scale Keep. Okay. And those Dragonborns also said they may know my family. Okay. Well, I see. And well, we found out that um, Girth over here is a member of like a club that's yeah. like super secret. It's fucker secret um, society. He apparently yeah. bought the Jonas Brothers Freedom with cards <laughs> that had um, <laughs> benefits that cost sure. possibly billions of platinum. Oh man! So uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you did the right thing. But I mean, yeah, yeah. So uh, really, I, I dog when we were trying to chase you, we ignored money that was just on the ground. Oh, right. You see the Jovan brothers just sitting there. It's okay. I have 16 so... pounds of platinum. You said <laughs> these are the Jovan brothers? Yeah. Oh, you guys, those dragonborn dudes, they were coming to kill you. Yeah. Then, like, yeah, they were going to. Last night. They were going to take you to Dragon's Kill Keep. They just. Oh, what do you mean? Man. They wanted Honestly, you. Honestly, it sucked for me, but. I thought he just wanted to kill me, but. Oh, no. No, no. See, hilariously, two people were hired to get you. One was hired to murder you. Murder me? Yeah. And the other group, us, including this guy that you think wants to kill you, were meant to if save they you. Didn't, if they didn't, if they weren't 
distracted by me, you you both could very well be. Yeah, they're pretty tough. Oh yeah, yeah. He just kind of looks and is. He looks at his other brother. So um. We don't seem to be really gonna be more friends or even acquaintances. I have a feeling. So can we just get back? Uh, we've been up for about twenty-four hours now. Uh, we're fucking lost. It. We were gonna set up uh, camp and then drive with the bikes. Yeah, I would like to sleep for like eight hours, if it's possible. Now, as well, you sleep, are at the bikes, you I'm notice kidding. there's a letter. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be like, hey, there's a note. Let's read this. Oh. <laughs> Uh, sure. What does the note say? So you guys go up to it. It is in a very like black parchment, and you see as you open it, it immediately has. Well, who's reading it? Uh, I'll do the reading. I'm a smart boy. Yeah. Okay, so you go up. They, you guys, you know, go around, pass it, and then you finally get it. You open it completely black parchment with like white ink on it and as you see it you immediately notice that it almost like reads itself in almost this like shadowy almost faint ghastly voice and as you read it the words say revenge for Jonathan cryptic sends his regards and then at the very bottom, you see it's signed with a large curse of teeth. Who the fuck is Jonathan? Ben's I don't Jonathan. know. Did you say T? You guys kill a guy named fucking Jonathan? I haven't. Not that we know. Revenge for Jonathan. I don't remember the names of the people I kill because I do it from so far Cryptic away. Senses what was the name of the fucking, the, the guy we lost on the bridge? Krypton's, Krypton's bridge. Oh, I don't know that. My name's Magnus. <laughs> I'd have to check my name. <laughs> His name how, was Jonathan. How old the bike? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the nephew was, and then the older, the older guy was something with a T. Tamriel. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So he lived. He lived. I knew that guy. Fucking. He didn't get killed on screen, so he must have been alive. Yeah, that's right. What? Yeah, the, I remember that. What yeah, are the he disappeared into the, the fog. And what are the what? Our what fault? is the condition of, of the bikes? We didn't it's not covered, but them. they seem Dude, untouched. They cut the brake lines on tell. the bikes, guys. Huh? <laughs> what? Oh. Hey, what's wrong brothers, with the bikes? Can you tell if there's anything actually wrong with kidding. these that, that <laughs> us like, not being concerned with these would I know? I hope he was kidding. They kind of look over. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll check them out. Uh, Garrick, okay. check uh, that one, and mm -hmm. I'll check that one. They go over and they start kind of looking over the bikes. Um... Yeah, they're fine, but did you guys even use any of the power getting here? We we took it slow because we're not good. <laughs> we, we they kind of chuckle things. to each other. They didn't even they didn't even use the power getting here. You, it take you what hours? Okay, yeah, <laughs> ciao. They just kind of chuckle. We, we were, we rather None of us here. storm chasers or bike drivers, okay, no. guys? They kind of get up after I mean, looking I could at them. Probably, I could probably do it. But these guys, Just so you know. We've been storm chasers for like 24, 24 you, hours. You're going to need <laughs> to um, use these at least uh, once a day. And you should ride them usually pretty hard to make Ooh. sure that they don't uh, actually go out of use. The power core in them need, needs to run at full capacity at some point, and if it doesn't, they'll just explode. Yeah, nobody told us that. Yeah, yeah, the, well, they yeah, probably assumed you'd be using them. We did not. Nope. We weren't allowed to be associated with the Storm Chasers to save you. Yeah, they uh, they built up a charge. That's how they were able to go so yeah, fast. Yeah, they probably should have said, they probably should have said something Eat. about that. Oh. And yeah. we were told that if these break, we have to pay for them. So we oh, you won't be able to pay safe. for these. these. Yeah, we've heard that they're pretty expensive. These, uh... <laughs> so, we, so, so we took it safe. You know you know where these were made? No. no. I, I don't. Supposedly the capital made them. Interesting. But then... Gave them to a bunch of storm chases. They were outdated. So if you think these are outdated and they cost what they cost, who knows what they've been working on recently. They've been taking all of the bikes we've been wrecking. No more repairs, they said. So the value in these has exponentially shot up. Wait, couldn't that also mean the value of these could go down because they're about to release a new bike? You would think so, but 
they don't seem to be uh, wanting to really <coughs> help anybody recently. Council's uh, not all about spreading the wealth of knowledge like they used to years and years ago. Yeah, I remember. I was there. There's three bikes, seven people, but I can shapeshift into a fucking rat. So there's six people, there's three bikes, two people do a bike. The Joe and brothers know how to ride these things. Uh, they will drive. I will drive. We can make it back in probably 45 minutes. Hell yeah. And then sleep in an actual bed and sit that right would, here. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. Not nah, out in the fucking... They go over and they look at them and you see they start kind of pushing them forward and turning them on and when they start powering up. Yeah, they're going to work. They go on and sit on two. So who's driving the third? I'm driving one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, who's hopping on the back of the two? Uh, Joven brothers. I'll put rap. Or no, I'm, I'm, gonna, gonna put I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a callback. I'm gonna turn into a weasel. Hang out. Fuck this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, right. He's here. Probably that. Yeah. Fuck this is back. Yeah. All right. So. I'll hop on with the Joven brother. Yeah. All right. So you guys hop on behind. Chasers have a Where are you going, Girth? That means you gotta be with it. <laughs> okay. And you're going. All right. So you guys get on. They look at you. All right. Let's go. And they slowly kind of coast them out alongside of the forest a little bit. You guys bridge out. You see people are still standing there, and people kind of look over at you. They're like, hey, you know, people kind of start pointing over. And in a moment, you just hear, and the two of them just just take off immediately. You guys are Whoa! kind of pulled back for a moment, and you kind of sit there, and you lurch it forward, and you're going full speed. Yeah. You, are you yeah, going I mean, full speed? Yeah. Give me a dexterity saving throw. I'm with uh, how close man, plus, some this should have been on your bike. Could it be acrobatics? <laughs> say, nope. how, how close are these bikes? The That's two fun. brothers are like fucking, almost touching. Fucking nine. How far away is he? Oh, he's far now, and he's trying to get it going. What was it? Nine. So you make it about two hundred feet, Fuck. and then you just the hover turns into a slam back into the snow, and you just boom, boom, boom. You're not going any faster. You're trying, but the momentum is just lurching you into the snow <laughs> over and over. And you kind of, <laughs> you see the Joven brothers, or Joven brothers, they kind of slow down. They pull out this rope in the back of it. Am I... Do you want tied on? It'll slow our speed, yes. but. Am I within yeah. reach of him now? Oh, yeah, they've come back. I cast resistance. D4 to a saving throw. Yeah. I'm gonna try again. Alright. You say, no, I'm, I got it. And they kind of, alright. And just, they kind of take work, back okay, off. Okay, I'm just timing. <laughs> and then once again, it's just, <laughs> it's yum, yum, yum. <laughs> they come back around, they tie it up. Everybody's just watching. And a couple of them are laughing. The people that I'm looking at. Another D20 that <laughs> People have now watch you for about. 500 yards just repetitively fail at getting this thing going, uh, almost damaging it now. You're tied up and they start coasting off and you guys are taken and that's where we're gonna take a quick break. So we'll pick up there here in like 10 minutes, grab some food, do your okay. thing. Can someone, can someone take this out? Oh, boy. Can you take this out for me? Oh boy! Thanks man. Wait. Can you get some of that? That's the wrong thing. And now all right so we pick up with you guys all making your way back takes about two hours and the Jonas oh god now you guys got me saying it the Joven brothers here close this so the dogs don't come in yeah can't have them the uh Joven brothers lead you guys back and towing along a shameful Magnus who attempted extremely well but didn't make it you guys make it back to the town of Aridance you guys are led up to the front small gate in which you guys entered this um, very like small dome-like city before. 
and are led into the loading dock where the bikes were taken from and you guys had departed from before. You see that there are tons of bikes that are getting ready to get um, essentially brought out. Uh, you see uh, Storm Chasers getting ready for the day. They see you coming in with the Joven brothers and a couple people come up and immediately greet them. Uh, you see Javak literally walking out and he sees you being towed and some people are laughing and they see you guys all get off the bikes and he kind of... So Magnus, should I just charge you the uh, 100000 now or later? And then chuckles. <laughs> How about uh, you uh, pay me the billions of platinum it took us for, you to, for us to buy your boys' freedom? We call this even, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not Rogan. He's just bad. Oh, I know. It's uh, it's just funny. So, yeah. thank you. Um, and then he just kind of looks around, and then he goes, looks over the Joven brothers. Yeah, thanks for bringing them back. I wasn't quite sure if that would uh, work out. Yeah. Does anybody know you... <laughs> um, we're associated with us. No. I don't believe so. Not to our dog. Hmm. Kind of looks you over. Okay. So, I guess I'll hold up my end of the deal. You brought him back? I'll tell you where Anru is. He's southwest of here, near the edge. He's testing some sort of route or something, and he is, uh, he's looking for something. I don't know exactly what, but it's, it's something. I know that he goes off the side, and it is, uh, hang on, let me give you the exact name, because he would know it. I thought I had it on here, but I gotta look at the actual name. Bum, bum, bum. It is called High Peak. And that is in Gildris. So it is south of New Wall in the other region. Chris, what is yep. Gildris? Mm hmm. Yep. So it's like uh, you have, you know, Hexwell, or Gildre, excuse me. You have Gildre, which is like Alberzin. It's the other capital, Gildre. Okay. Excuse me. He kind of looks, you'll, uh, you'll find he's very special. He is, uh, um, attuned with the air, and he's one of the Genasis. If you go and seek him out, tell him I sent you, and tell him that you need passage on a route, or... Wherever you seek to go, and he should be able to help you. He may have you uh, help him gather materials, though, as some of the things are very hard to acquire. But aside from that, it shouldn't be too uh, too hard. Now, travel from here to there, to where he's located. About two to three weeks. And that's not taking the bikes, of course. We're going to need those. But, uh, you able to have a caravan and are able to dodge some of the god that are trying to round up everybody into the capitals. That's your best bet. Are there any, uh, trees around here? Yeah, there are. There's, uh, they're kind of a little scarce around Airdens, but mm -hmm. around the region there are. Well... Uh, first things first is we need, uh, I mean, given the day, given the time, not a night's rest, but a rest. Yeah, you can you can stay like before. I find that. Uh, and then, oh yeah. Uh, do you have like uh, <laughs> any halberds? Wait, we get, wait, we're gonna give him that staff. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, 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 yeah, is I, I noticed. Magic weapon? I noticed. Yes, it is. I noticed yeah. that he didn't have his halberd anymore. Um, Here's a crossbow and five bolts. Yeah, let's just give them all our trash. <laughs> you have any any big weapons that you're not using? Sure, that there are some for 
purchase in town, I but uh, uh -oh. I was abducted and robbed. Well, we can spot you. Part of the business, I'm afraid. I have 16 pounds of platinum. In this bag. I like how it's if not you even gold. Cool. We're not even measuring it. If you, you, if if you can weight. outfit him <laughs> yeah. with 16 pounds of platinum's worth of stuff, yeah. that'd be pretty neat. I wouldn't flash cash like that, bud. Yeah, but this is Where'd like a get known that? trusted party. Huh? Where'd you get that? It, we found it on the way to get the brothers. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> and then I have this bag of 2,000 oh, golds worth of gems no, and yeah. jewelry. Listen, yeah. I did you luck. kill someone? No, no they were just lying know. around down there. Our luck yeah. goes from <laughs> the corpse is we die around. and we find money. Yeah. 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 There's no in between. What? All right, so um, no, I'm pretty sure you did. I'm you're sure gonna you did. <laughs> for 13 platinum. I mean, I'm not sure dead. if we have something that valuable here. Well, that's why I'd give you less. I'm just telling you, this is yeah, the we'll limit. Do, so we have I'm sure budget. for maybe when you spend all 2,000 gold, he could probably get a decent, uh, decent magical halberd. Maybe one that's already crafted. For, for can a I chaser. also get a magical gun? You already have for some no, I just have a gun with some magical ammo. I want a magical gun. No, we don't have those here. Well, That's... even for 16 pounds of platinum. Can I buy a peasant? I'm telling even, you we had even, it, but that I doesn't even exist. Order in, uh, I mean maybe 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 we can talk to Percy, get something to fucking order. He knows people, I'm sure. Ugh. You probably go to the capital and buy a gun. We haven't taken a rest. We've never been to the capital. We should probably go there. It's uh, media. Yeah. I don't, know, I don't think the the people there are like us. We've never been there. How would you know? Uh, because uh, we were so we were told we were told, told run not the to, place. Yeah, we were told us. not to go there. Yeah. Oh, we. Were, That's like five people. <laughs> Dennis, <it's, laughs> they're not super influential. I, 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 I think there's four of them left. Uh, you know what? When I was trying to get out a new wall. Yeah. One of the guards brought up Pug. Oh, yeah, old Pug, the Pugster? Yeah. Not in a good way. No? He seemed to remember me from the <laughs> caravan incident. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Talked my way out of it. Okay. But. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's odd. Oh, great. So you guys oh, are wanted from way. something before you came here. This is Those two are. Fantastic. Yeah. That's, 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 how do I not? How, how do I know you're not? You what? run around with the sky cell phone all the time. <laughs> I've only seen your face from the times where you've switched it. Yeah. Uh, what's your opinion on the Rocks family, by the way? I fucking hate those guys. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Wait, what's your opinion on the Rocks family? Fuck them. Oh, okay. All right. All right. And <laughs> yeah, they hire them crows. Yeah. Yeah. And I hate them crows. Yeah, fuck grows. Like, a lot. Okay. Ooh. What the fuck does... <laughs> 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 like, did you buy orphans? We purchased... For labor, or we... because some fucked up shit was happening? They, they were both. gonna be both. slaves. Both. Yeah, uh, so we were like, fine. we're, we'll be okay. We bought them... It's yeah. still super <laughs> weird. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, yeah. I have a feeling it was none of your idea. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. So the last the, guy, the previous was, guy was very, big. he was very passionate about this. Wait, you telling me you had a skeleton necromancer that adopted orphans out of the goodness of his cold dead heart? Something Man, he like sounds that. pretty cool. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. We went there sure. for for one child. We left with like seven. Yeah. Nine. Something like that. Yeah. It was kind of a we got him a, we got him a, a good a steep discount. <laughs> At this point, you hear, and a bunch of the storm chasers start taking off. Goodbye. Let's fucking sleep. Well, I guess I'll um, be seeing you around. And uh, he just yeah. starts to walk away. Uh, well, hold on, I got one question. I he got turns. one question. Uh, yeah. This whole area, we're not super familiar with. Um, I'm, I've been trying to track down a specific fucking cave from three months now. Uh, it's called Transcendent Falls. Ever heard of the name? Yeah, it's kind of an attraction. That's what everybody heads to uh, one of the towns 
right uh, near from here. I think it's Dresden. They go there, and there's some sort of tourist place. There's somebody that gives tours. Harry? Terrence? Terry? Terry's tours? Terry's tours? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He takes people up there to Transcend Falls? Everybody knows Terry's. Is yeah. it Terry's? It's something like that. We advertise Terry. for them. Uh, Tori? No. Teddy's? Teddy. I know. Teddy. 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 I've been following you. Teddy's. I know where, yeah. you, I know where you've been. Is that true? Yes. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Oh. He, well, I thought you were just He drunk. runs a lot Are of the, the uh, I keep tours in there. Multiple things. What? He runs Are a lot the of the tours figure? in there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's actually yeah, how we know him. We know he, him he, would know, he would know where it would be located, I would assume. Ink in Dressman. That's where we met the guy. And I'm pretty sure that's where we fucking met the guy. Outside the Clutch Rose Hall, yes. Uh, fucking near Dressman. Okay, so. I mean, honestly, so, talk to any tourist guide there, and they'd probably be able to lead you there. So, what? We're, we're sleeping? Going to these falls? I mean, I'm going think... to this random dude. With weird name that I can't remember right now. Uh, then to Percy's, or is it the Percy's after the falls? It would probably be Percy's after the falls if we really want to do that. Uh, I would like to, but I don't know if it's well. The other path leads us to leaving the continent, so yeah, like, yeah. I have a feeling we should I... stop and prepare for <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, we're all thing. we're also pretty far up. This, so. Ooh, it is right um, there. Yeah. Appreciate. Yeah, I have a feeling you've wanted this for months. Oh uh, yeah, a little <laughs> bit, just a little bit. We were never in the area. At this point, well, Garth, you're just technically we were one. Yeah, yeah we, we had, we had just lost another music. guy. Don't mind. Don't worry about it. What? Yeah, he, he sees some people just playing some music in town. Looks like for some coin. That's it. Well, yeah. the last time you played here, the coins. Special order of boomerang. Oh, did you? Okay. It was uh, leather armor. Oh, okay. Well, we could do that. Uh, with some... oh, people playing whatever the fuck music. Awesome. All right. You see one female. She seems to be uh, either human or half elven. She kind of looks, and you don't really pay attention to her, but she looks at you. Uh, well, thank you. And she seems to be strumming on some sort of string, like almost like a guitar. And they sound great. You guys walk on by. Um, you guys head into your rooms. Do you want a weapon? Yeah, I was going to say, well, let's, let's buy this boy a new weapon. All right. A new toy. So you guys head in. You look and you see one of the well, maybe shops maybe. are kind of closed, but you see a new shopkeep that seems to be opening on the street right in the center of the small circular like center town of basically where all of Aridance happens and in the middle of town while everybody's kind of getting lunch he's now opening shop when everybody closes you see he opens come and get your finest here and he just starts slamming some drinks and you see this human quite drunk with black long hair uh he has an ton of swords and stuff. You look around, you do see a halberd. You see something that uh, catches your eye? I like that halberd. Oh, do you? What do you want? Hold on, we haven't taken a lot. Do you have bullets? Yeah, I got some. Yeah, I see some normal bullets. Uh, and he kind of rummages around and you see he starts like kind of pouring a bunch of random stuff into like a pouch. Yeah, this will be um, 70 gold. Those didn't look like bullets. <laughs> yeah, they are. Let me see them. Well, let me see your gold. I just take out one. I take out seven pieces of platinum just to be an asshole. He looks at it and just he kind of hands it over. Yeah, those are special bullets. What are they? I'm looking at them now. A couple of them look like bullets, and then you dig a little bit deeper. Looks like a bunch of fucking random ball bearings that have been yeah, dented, smashed together. I'm like, together. okay, I want that halberd, though. <laughs> Is there any uh, other weapons that are, like, look extravagant? Um, you see a two-handed axe that doesn't look too bad. 
Look at the axe. How much for that axe? That thing is awesome. 5,000 gold. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> Man, I really want that axe. Yeah? What can I do for you? Buy it. <laughs> Does anybody have like the tech magic? How about like 3,000? What can it do? I got no is it special? Thoughts. I have first level spells I'll say it's auto repaired. If we come Maybe. back in eight hours, I can detect magic. It'll slay many foes. Is that magic? Yes. <laughs> How about let's just check the marketplace tomorrow? After our... After wait, 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 no! 3,000 gold. Halberd. 300 gold. Um... Got some... Got a dagger. Pretty nice, right? No, no, 300 for the halberd. You said... You said 3,000 for the halberd? We, I was we, talking about the axe. No. I'll give you one thousand for the halberd. He'll give you one thousand for. I won't give you one thousand for that piece of shit. Two and a half thousand for the halberd. No. One hundred and fifty for the halberd. I'll I'll pay three thousand for it if that includes the privilege. To How about your this? Knees. Two yeah. crossbows. You buy the halberd, and I'll give you real ammo. Three thousand. Four hundred gold. <laughs> Two daggers. <laughs> plus no one uses shit. daggers. I'll, I'll do that. Yeah. All that shit for and plus two daggers, four hundred gold. Okay. No. No. <laughs> four cross bolts. I'm going to bed. One for all of you, <laughs> and he can have the halberd. Okay. How about how about four hundred gold, and I buy you a ball. Kind of rubs his face for a moment. All right. Um, 5,000 gold for the halberd. Dude, no. What this guy's drunk. No. Well, this See how this works? Huh? Huh? You mess with me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well. Because next year it'll be like 400 gold for all that stuff. <laughs> and I'm out here trying to earn the money. Yeah. 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 I'm well, out here. We're taking our business elsewhere. Well. They don't want alcohol? Good luck! Okay. I guess he, he didn't like the alcohol. You see a little... What looks like boy come up. How much for a dagger? 500 gold. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> 500 gold! Yeah. yeah, 500 gold. It's like a little <laughs> kitchen knife. Go <laughs> tell your parents. Actual dagger. Yeah. All our payments. <laughs> yeah. You turned butter around. No. Daddy says 500 gold! Yeah, it's one of the butter knives. Yeah. They could stab someone with it. He's obviously... Yeah. Trying to swindle people. Yeah. No shit. You I'm guys turn around. Literally you go back to the room. Like, <laughs> it's so what are you doing? Like, Garth, what are you doing? <laughs> it's a weapon of deference. What are you doing? It's a conceptual fucking bullshit. He's going, going back to bed? Going back going back bed. bed. You going back to yeah, bed? Yeah, I'm gonna go see. Alright, you guys go back to bed? You guys taking your long rest? Let's fucking prepare some spells. Alright, you guys go to bed? Everything's fine? You wake up? You're good? Everything's fine? Nothing happens? You guys get your full I'm just eight hours. I'm my bag of 16 pounds of plastic. Now you guys, you guys, <laughs> you guys, you guys do wake back up, and as you pillow. as you do so, you guys are literally met by the sound of people once again in the town working. Things are happening. You hear the sounds of storm chasers going in and out. You guys wake up, gather your things. What are you guys doing? Well, let's well, we're trying get to equip. Trying, trying to uh, yeah, <laughs> go to some spells. fucking death trap terrace location. Uh, Forest location. Yeah. We're heading for Dressman. So hold on, let me let me fucking. I'm gonna want. Wait, Dressman, where I'm from? No. I'm from. It's another D place. I forget. You're from the Golis. I'll give you a D place. And you also have random. an ace of hearts. No. <laughs> random, oh, random small city in this region is where I'm from. You actually have the eight of clubs. You just didn't notice. This whole time, it's just in my back pocket. I'll just play all of your characters. No, no, it'd be, no, it'd be much bigger. It'd be, but it'd be like the king of hearts or some shit. I'd be like, oh my god. All right, so you guys gather your things. I was the leader of this sex um, the whole time. It was me. <laughs> oh wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, I gotta. Do we need sending? For anything. Cindy? Cindy. Is there anyone we need to talk to? Uh fucking 
Ah, really? How specific are the rules on sending? I have to be familiar with them. Okay, you have to like it. Technically, we can message and get to Jack of Fiend. I don't know why. Yeah, we haven't met Jack Fiend yet. Yeah. Like, he, he can talk to the kid. Kid? That'd probably be pretty useful information. We could, uh, we could, uh, fucking tell, uh, Gerald Strom to take care of our house. He's a storm guy. He protects awards against storms. Currently, there's a storm going on, so, yeah. So oh, yeah, you also have all them orphans in the Denison Twins. Yeah, yeah. We might, we might actually want to send word home that we're not dead. Yeah. <laughs> and that, uh, to, to hold down the fort. Oh, yeah, you also have to tell him Gildor is dead. <laughs> yeah, break the news over phone. <laughs> like, yeah, sorry kids, Papa's dead. <laughs> like, a more cool skeleton gorilla. Yeah, he's gone too. Damn it. Damn. Ooh. I see you sending. I'm preparing my spells yeah, for yeah, right now. Full fucking prepared caster business. All right, well, as you guys are preparing and kind of muttering about, you guys hear outside of your quarters an individual. Yes, we're inquiring about any individuals that would be interested in helping up the guilds in the region. There are many things with the elections coming up in the next few weeks, and with them starting, we uh, would like any volunteers or anybody that is willing to work for some possible coin or... Maybe even a future job within the guilds. If you know of anyone and you hear someone on the outside, huh? Storm Chasers, we're pretty busy right now with what's happening in the region. You hear the other gentleman. Yeah, I understand. Um, if you know of anyone, uh, we'll leave this on the posting board um, in the center of town, if that's fine. And the other one agrees. And then you hear the two depart. You guys go about your way, you guys leave, you gather your things. I you... cast sending to Strom. Alright, what do you say? Yeah. Does sending have rules on what, how many words you can say? Five. Five words. Okay, it's important that. We are still alive. Gildor isn't. <laughs> Take care of the house. Gildor is less alive. He's at 11. <laughs> yeah, just take, just take care of the house and the children. A moment goes Peace. by and then pretty quickly back you hear... My God, your friend is dead. More dead. I'm sorry. The storm is worse. Something changed. A heart shows. Come back quickly. House in danger soon. So the house is, house is in danger. Storm is worse, as we know. What was that thing about the heart or whatever? Heart is showing. The heart is showing, whatever the fuck that means. I assume, I assume that has something to do with the ley line. Oh shit, we should probably just tell him to abandon Fair. that place. You got you guys got a ley line in that house? No. Nope. Yeah, that place is death trap. Just leave. I like that house. Just leave, no, it's death trap. None of you guys are wizards, it's just so important. Leave. Our wizard died! <laughs> yeah, it's even less safe now. Why are you dragging? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, please tell me someone didn't hit it with anything, right? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yep, twice. Oh my god. <laughs> How is there still a house? How are you alive? I, I didn't hit it that hard. Okay. As you guys are kind of walking about town, you guys see a group of kids, uh, maybe teenagers, they kind of come blast. running by. Um, they kind of run, they kind of like knock into the group of you playing some sort of like kickball game, and then they turn around and you kind of scare them a little bit. Uh, you see that they kind of stare at you for a moment, and then one pulls out like a deck of cards and starts just messing around, and then the other one kind of shoulder checks them, and they just go on running after a moment. You guys just kind of look at them for a moment. I check my coin purse. I'm still holding. He's just like this. 
Like the you, baby. You go and look, <laughs> and you see it's been shifted, but it's still there. Everything's still there? Wait, did... From what you can tell. The shoulder checked who? The shoulder, the shoulder checked each other? Yeah, they kind of, like, knocked so into you all. My whole 78 oh, yeah, gold. I'm... Yes. From what you can tell, you go through and you look. In my five silver. Seems to be all there. Yep. I will do you seem to be okay. I hope I'm okay. You're, you well, look, you, you're, you're just, you're just like, <laughs> yeah, you're I have good. a bag in my oh, backpack has all the rest of my You don't have any. I don't have any. It's like, you're so. Anyone even looks at him like, what about my? Fuck off. My core. Yours? You turn and look. You see yours is about 10 feet behind you on the ground. You go back and you grab you it. Kill some kids. It's a little bit lighter. You look around okay. and you see the kids just kind of <laughs> running off. How far are they? 60 feet. Can they eat brains? No, they can't. They're not cool enough. They work. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm fucking killed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. 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 You can. It took nine gold. No. So, not. Nope, it wasn't. It wasn't. You know, I was about to say, but no, just. <laughs> but your card too. Nope. But they just took a couple of your coin, tried to be quick about it. You guys all seem to be pretty good. They, your sleight of hands were shit, so they go through. You guys all would have seen them, so they kind of caught on. But you guys go on, don't seem to be noticed by it. As you guys make your way through, towns are open, the shops are open. You want to go look to buy or do anything? After that, I put my coin first. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're looking for oh, big weapon. Me. Worst case scenario, we we'll use this magic staff, which he probably should use anyway, mechanically. That thing's fucking insane. I mean, insane. this thing lets me teleport when I take big hits, mm -hmm. and that's kind of but it would allow the paladin to hit bigger, bigger dick hits than he yeah. already does. I mean, that's a cool. <laughs> so you go to the shop. Can do that. I think. Yeah. Yeah. He had, yeah. It, it has like a, its own smite inside of it. Yeah. So it's, that it's a magical your, staff. That plus your smite. Yeah. It's it's a very rare staff. Yeah. <laughs> It'd actually be fucking insane. So you're shopping. Be big dick Are you guys yeah. bouncing? Uh, We're shopping. Yeah. We need to find this boy. We need a weapon. Is Get there like a magical maybe? shop? Right now, here's a kit. crossbow and yeah. a rope. Can we get some rope? We need rope too. Yeah, we need yeah. rope. Yeah, okay, so right. you guys go into just the General's Airden store. It's, yeah. it's it's called the Swifty Swap. You guys go right on in. And as you, <laughs> as you guys look around, you guys can gather rope. What all are you trying to get? Rope? That'll be. Uh, I'll, is there be... like a magical tent that like is like a fucking capsule from like Dragon Ball? I want, I want that. What? He, he, want, he wants uh, essentially like a tent or some kind of shelter that. And axe, and that when you do yeah, something, yeah, but it's all it, it, uh, it's it's like a makeshift tent, but for I think fifty gold, it's only for two people. Well, then we get I think multiple the, of them. To be fair, I think he's just talking about an actual tent. You're not. He's not talking about like a magical pop up tent. No. Yeah, I want a magical pop up tent. Sure, we can flavor it a little bit for an extra fifteen gold. So for sixty five gold, I they'll allow some tent. spring appendages to kind of collapse in, and as long as it's folded I want to up, like a pokeball, and just like yeah, you throw it out and it kind of pops open, and you just kind of lay the bottom down. You're good. Gotcha. <laughs> no, no, that no. As he gets older, now, just what are you sore. looking for? So you go in the shopkeep. Oh, let me. How like, much? How much would this tent cost in weight of platinum? I had to swifty swap <laughs> in weight of platinum. It'll be um five hundred pounds of platinum. Well, maybe half a pound of platinum. Well, maybe, pound of platinum. Not true. <laughs> Not okay, so I, we're getting the tent. We're getting him. What he needs a bedroll, an explorer's pack, or some shit. A you do realize some sort. You, yeah, you, you, you don't have a, a you don't have a singular trunk of platinum. Yeah, you, you have a you have a bunch of coins. Yeah, you can yeah, deal yeah, them out yeah. in, in coins. Four. But I don't. But we never we never set up any. It was four thousand. It's four thousand. I did the math to pick up the sixteen pounds. It's four thousand. I just remembered the 60 pounds. <laughs> it was 4,000. Was 4, that stuck in my head. It was 4,000 gold, pe uh, gold pieces worth of platinum coins. So it'd be 400 platinum coins. You have 400 platinum. That, uh, um, this That's spring, so, up, so this spring up tent would cost seven platinum coins, but you'd get five gold back. Okay. That's seven. 
And we need what? His shit. We need How much yeah, the shopkeeper. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> shit at math. Yeah, I am. I need an explorer pack. How much? It's is what that? I smoke. Like Fifteen. Oh, not gold. Gold. Oh, Twenty gold. Okay. And a cart, some cartographer's tool would be nice. Five gold. Got that. And he just rummages back, starts grabbing stuff. What else? Nope. Yeah, five gold, fifty feet, or a hundred. Normal shit or the really good stuff? I think we just need normal rope. What is the really good stuff? Mmm, for 50 feet. Charge you 20 gold per 50 feet. Oh, wait, do you guys also sell bullets? Just the basic kind, though. I just need normal bullets. That's 20 a pouch, 5 gold. Yeah, I need a pouch of bullets. Done. Make sure rope says special. It's made with, uh,. Some of the beasts that they have in your wood. Just super taut. Very strong. Can hold, well, 50 pounds tied off, or 50 yards, or feet, excuse me, tied off around one person. It could probably hold up to five, six, seven hundred pounds easily. Seems like it. If you want to, you can give him an inside check. My neat mechanical. There's like 50 over there. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. Four. Seems to be telling the truth. Okay, I'm gonna give him my platinum. Do you, is there any like? I'm gonna ask him. Is there any like magical shop in town that would like do magic weapons? I mean, there's many shops. They come and go based on the week. So uh, a lot of us don't set up when and out. Evidence doesn't allow, um, let's say, property management. They allow shopkeeps to come and go. So I can't really tell you, but I'm sure there's some around here. Last week I changed my name and I was the Schlindly Schlu. It just depends on the week here. Okay. Anybody particularly famous that does magic? Rhonda, she's like two uh, tents, I guess you'd call them. Trolleys, whatever, down. She, uh, she usually has some knickknacks. Okay. They're usually kind of expensive. What are you looking for, though? You're going to need at least a couple thousand. That's fine. All right. I'm looking for, like, maybe a magical bow. You're not like noble, are you? Gun. You're no noble, right? Oh, maybe. They might. She only likes helping a lot of the poor. she cut you a deal if, uh... Could be a noble. You help someone. You know, you do you? something. She orphan. usually had some odd end jobs, you know, orphan, transporting know, maybe... things back and forth. Yeah. Nothing usually too crazy, but you do it, she'll usually uh, cut you a deal. Okay. I think it's black market trade stuff, but that's how she gets some of her things from a guy in um, Albazine. He's hogging a lot of the magical items in uh, most of Hexwell. Oh, you're talking about Percy. Yeah. Anybody sell any instruments? Eh, very few. Very small, compact. As many people travel around here, many storm chasers take many things with them. They can't take anything big. Small flutes and uh, hand instruments for the most part, but nothing usually Magical made. Crazy no, crazy. not here. It's the capital. And, uh,. Even I heard they're starting some places of art and geo. While well, he's talking, but magic. that's just what yeah. I heard. I'll buy that uh, place for, magic for that crazy you rope. You know what? I cut you a deal. Since everybody's buying stuff, half off for the rope, ten gold. Y'all leaving? He just kind of drops it down. I gave him eight platinum for my seven platinum purchase, and okay. I'd have five gold if I gave him seven. The rest is for whatever they get. You guys should uh, come back. Name's Roger. I uh, show up here under different names all the time, but um, yeah, come and see me. I do everything but usually magical items, general goods, things like that. I also got uh, two health potions. Oh, wait a minute. Come Could on. you translate this bag of jewelry into money? What did you say your name was? Roger. Uh, if we Roger trade it, I mean, you can kind of pot it off here. I'll give you a, what I think is equivalent in exchange. That's perfectly fine with me. Kind of put it on the I table and he looks at it. the bag out on the table. Uh, you got some nice ones here. Yeah. 
Really nice ones. I'd like this and platinum. He just kind of starts scooting them over. <laughs> Wait, what's your deal with platinum? How about this? You might not I won't platinum. charge you for anything. You give me all of these gems. And, um, I'll even... I'll even give you another 200 gold. Do you have anything magical instead of 200 gold? I don't have anything magical. I just said that. Other than the healing potions. I would just... How about the healing potions? <sighs> no. We wouldn't, I, I, want the I don't potions. think you should give him anything. True. We can just buy the healing potions. I don't need can you just buy the gems? I mean... In gold? Uh, anything? I can only give you about... Uh, Maybe a thousand tops. I don't know the value of gems. Uh, I mean, so out of character, when he described this collection of jewelry, he described it as a thousand gold pieces worth of jewelry. So, okay, so yeah, so. That's, that's good. I'll take it. <laughs> thousand gold. Like I don't, I don't know. So you a thousand you gold. I don't, I don't understand. Platinum. I don't know how else I would have <laughs> given you that information. <laughs> so like, you, you exchange it over. I forgot. You now have a thousand gold pieces or a thousand gold pieces. Yeah, there you go. He he makes the change. Put pleasure doing I'm business. I'm just gonna give these to fuck this. I'm like, there you go. Yeah. There you go. So well, while they're doing good. that, are you Thank looking you. for a weapon, armor? Oh, you have Rhonda. So yeah. you guys go to down. Rhonda. Yeah, I'll be I'll be hanging out. Wait a second. Before we go to Rhonda, why don't we do one of the tech magic things to find the place the highest Yo, magic? Hold on. on this. Three passengers. Fuck. What? Huh? Yeah. If we use the tech magic, we can find the place with the most magic in it. Within thirty feet. Would you like to? Well, that's why we magic. fucking walk Currently, around. Currently, I'm looking for a well, boat. That's almost work. <laughs> so, uh, a boat? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm seeing if there's any any way I can buy a boat today. Oh, we're down by a dock somewhere. Yeah, I don't think there's any boats anywhere near here. Uh, <laughs> Where are we? Aaron. Oh, in, 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 in Central why Town Square. So I don't I don't really want to waste two hundred feet of rope all the goddamn time. So I'm thinking that if if we just Sit the four of you in a boat, and I we we have rope tied to the boat. I just t- pick up the rope and just carry you, uh, carry you in the boat. We're so, in the boat, huh? The the boat. I'll, I'll like. No, I mean just in general. Well, I mean uh, when we set, I set it down and we just come back to the boat at the end of the day. Why does it need to be oh, a yeah. boat though? I mean, what else is it could be like? A, it could be like a basket. I mean, yeah, but are you going to weave a fucking basket for the next three days? No, but I'm assuming we could buy one. I mean... There's hot air balloons in Hexwell. Is I've there? seen them are with you? my eyes. I mean, if we I'm can... old. They've been here. If we can find old a Old man yells at Cloud. If we can find I'm a hot mad. air balloon basket, <laughs> that'll work. That's what I was envisioning, but I don't know if we're going to be get that lucky. So I was going to settle for a rowboat. We'll cross this bridge. <laughs> Roger's just listening to this and then just rescinds back into his shop. Let's do a business. Yeah. Wait, uh, how much for the two healing potions? Yo, Hold on, never established that. Uh, 100 gold for the bear. 125. I don't normally deal in these and I was looking to get a good deal. You know, you caught me in a good mood. Okay. Glad <laughs> you're doing business. Little do we know we're about to walk into like the alchemist shop. <laughs> it's like, it's just a bin of normal oh, you're right. It's like you're right. five for five. I, 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 I five should, for you're not wrong. I should have window shop. I could have been here. I could have come back. He uh, actually bought them from the five for five. Right, so you guys go to run He's reselling it. Hold on. Let me five for off. five copper. He said 125. Fucking. Are you guys going to Rondas? Yeah. No, we're going to detect magic and walk around before going to Rondas. Uh, yeah, she just has. Magical items or she From might what you have can magical tell. items. Do you have any potions of healing? There are no. Any taverns no? or bars? Alright, fifty gold. Yeah. Do you want to have one? That platinum. All right. <laughs> five you platinum. go into one. You immediately see there's like five people so drinking. Big picture issues here, dude. I am not a mad petition. Hey, sh- what? <laughs> okay, you have to the bar. You see this small little gnome lady. She comes up. What will it be? I haven't seen you around. Slide things from downtime. There's a room in the back. He kind of looks around the bar and then cleans one of the glasses and puts it away and kind of walks over and nods for you to go. You go walking into the back and 
There's a individual. She opens the door and it slowly opens. She looks in there. Rusty. There's, uh, there's a member here that goes by Ace. Wait a moment and then... All right, he'll see you. She opens the door and you walk in. And it's a very small but dark with like a very low lit lantern that's in the center of this table. And as you kind of sit there and look, you see the man wearing like this black robe with like barely any um, light going over more than like his nose and covering his eyes. Seems to be smoking on some sort of pipe and in front of him you see just gold and platinum and what looks like a large map. Uh, he kind of sits up. Uh, Ace it is. Of what? Please. In any other diamonds. Uh, I've seen two. Putting me? No. Last month. I heard information of, uh... Certain things regarding the diamonds, human or trafficking or depends on what you're looking for. For the two people, the two diamond people, were they bringing a woman, two men, women? No, but um, one of them was. Uh, he was looking for two individuals that were diamond holders. Decently high ranking, I think. Said that uh, they had some mission. They had to go missing and um, they were looking for information on a certain individual. He was in the media. I can give you more of that information if you uh, have something to trade. He reaches back and he slams forward his hand on the map. What will it exchange amongst the 52? What do you have for this knowledge that I can give you? Give you five gold pieces. Wait, is he alone right now? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, good. Because I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll be ritual. Yeah. You guys are just Check shopping, magic, yeah. yeah. That's not going to get you what it's going to cost you. Just in the middle of the street, fucking putting a cost? circle on the ground like... <laughs> a bounty. I'll move you up a card. I'll make you... Two. You'll no longer be ace, but I need need a card of at least seven or higher brought to me. I don't care the kind or color, but I have another job that needs it. Bring it back, find a member, I don't care how. Then I'll give you the knowledge. You want me to take out a fellow? Hey, wait a minute. You like integrate armor pieces into you, don't you? I, I didn't say that, moves. but sure. Wait, hang on. I, uh, I think you could maybe acquire it in other ways. Maybe not kill them. Maybe force it upon them to give it up. The gathering of the decks is in about eight weeks. At the end of the year, when the winter solstice happens. And when that happens, members are going to be looking to go up. I have many... Well, I guess in your eyes would consider bounties for other cards. So you being an ace, you don't have much to worry about. Do you have any insight in where any of these card holders? Oh, there's one here. 
You've already probably met him. His name is Givak. He's a captain of the Erdens tribe. He usually deals with many of the onboardings of new recruits and whatnot, and, uh... He's a member. I wasn't the dude I gave the cards to. No. You gave him a new wall prison, the guy underneath. You traded him for the prisoners. The dwarf guy. He didn't even have No rest. Wait, yeah. Which fit the theme of what we were doing. Of not. Okay, well, I'll be back. Hard. He leans back. You be here still? I'll be here. Okay. You leave, and now knowing that this is, you look on the outside, and as you're literally leaving to go, you see, because you're still kind of new at this, you see once again like a deck symbol on the very inside of the cavern door when you walk in, like on the wood frame. On the right side, you see it just kind of like etched in the wood. Somebody carved it in? Or... Mm -hmm. Looks like at some point someone made that like some sort of symbol. As you go walking out, you turn and you see that it's the dry air. That's the tavern you were in. You walk back out. The rest of you all, that was happening. You were shopping. So you guys go and you guys detect magic. magic. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I what? ritual cast detect magic. What was it called? Uh, dry air. Uh, and so, so is this like kind of like a square, like a court circle? Yard? It's like a big old circle okay. in the center of like this dome city, and then the rest okay. is like networks yeah. of just. So for at the very least ten minutes, I'm just walking around, seeing if there's any magic. All right. So as soon as you walk out, kind of you shot. notice two down, a lot of magic. Like you guys are almost there. You guys walk around. That seems to be Rhonda's shop. Mm -hmm. You guys kind of circle around. There seems to be only one other shop that has very few magical items. It seems to be a, um, a weaponsmith. Mm -hmm. and, Let's check them first. And he seems to be just uh, having a very few select weapons. You see mostly two-handed and very few small weapons. They all seem to be Great axes, um, halberds. You see a couple long swords. Um, you see some short swords, but nothing smaller than a short sword. That's about it for. I mean, you see bins of you know magical ammunition lighting up and things like that. Yeah, let's go to that guy first. I'll walk up. All right, yeah, you walk up. This is the magic black. Yep. You well, see, yeah. he's kind of working on some what looks like some sort of. Armament or whatnot. And what you working on broke. there? Well, I'm trying to work on armor and it's just not working. Uh, so, and he kind of throws it off. What can I do you? Looking for a weapon. Uh, you're a strong fella. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. The <laughs> soot builds up. So, <laughs> anything uh, specific? What big weapons do you have? Two handed? I got some great axes. Those will fetch you around 40 gold. Um, got a couple long swords. Magical big man weapon. Oh. Looking for some magical weapon. Uh, he leans back. Got this. Just one, though. Um, it's going to cost you about 500 gold. What is it? And he kind of uncovers it, and it's this black cloth over And as you see, it's this large two-handed axe. It's kind of curved in a way. And then on one side, the axe just kind of like slants with this huge arcing blade. That's kind of like brown oak wood. And then as it gets closer to the end, you just see like this pure black blade with like iron, like gray around the edges. This is, uh, this is the best I got. Is there any design? Uh, is iron? Not really. A couple like iron, uh, like grayish etchings that kind of like outline the blade around it, but it's pretty just basic and clean. What kind of magic attunements does this weapon have? Do you know? Uh, supposedly, it grants you a little bit more power and uh, strength when using it, but um, maybe it lets you hit a little bit harder, a little bit more accurate. 
That's about it, though. May I hold it? Yeah. You grip it, and it is light. I mean, like, you could probably throw it. For it being a two-handed axe. You're, you're like, this is a great axe, right? You're like, yeah. I'm thinking like some, like, Garrosh Hellscreen. Yes. Like things like and, and when you grip it, you know, instead of, like, your even your halberd, when you, like, you know, your halberd, when you had it, was, like, poundage. Oh, yeah. And when you grip this, you could almost easily just possibly even dual wield them in a way and still get, like, dual wield or uh, full two handed. Which starting. means you could get a shield. No cracks or anything? You look it over, seems to be in pristine condition. He's He sees you and he's like, it's never been used. I forged it myself. Impressive. 500 gold, you said? Uh, all I can think to offer for it. I'll give you 600. Deal. Do you, have a, do you have a magical gun? You drive a tough bar. Just tossing it out there. Um, I don't, but... Um, magical bow. Magical anything ranged weaponry. I do have a bow. It's uh, bright red, though, with tassels that are white. I'm not a man that... I'm wearing a hat made of tinfoil. Do you think I care for appearances? <laughs> Some <laughs> individuals don't like the red boat. Stands out. Um, he goes back and he gets it. It's, <laughs> it's almost uh, about six inches taller than you. It's a long bow. And he kind of sits it down. And you, you pull and it's nice. Like the taut on the string. He's like, huh? Does it make a magic arrow when I pull it? When you That's pull it, for. if you pull it back, you see that it does start to form, and he's like, How much do you want for this? I want this now. All um, Wait, you give me a thousand? Yeah. That's going to cost you almost fifteen hundred. Uh, how much is that in platinum? Someone help. I'm going to give him a hundred and fifty platinum. That one that gives you it's plus one bow comes with uh, reloading, and... He looks at it and he kind of pulls it back. It's full of tassels. You pull these tassels off. They don't come back. But it will increase the damage of the next shot fired immensely. It'll do 1d12 extra if you pull one of the tassels off. Okay, do these tassels regenerate or nope. is it just one and done? Yeah. Nope. Yeah. You yeah. pull you it. Four big shots. Four yep. shots. You hand him over, he looks at it. When I use all the shots, does the bow become useless? No, you just lose just the lose tassel. The shot. I just lose the tassels, okay. That's worth it. Then it'll just be a red bow without white tassels, like white leather nubs on the ends yeah. that you've pulled off. There's like two and two, so. Gotcha. Do you have any javelins? Uh, probably not strong enough for you if you're looking for magical ones, but I do have basic ones. I'll just take some basic javelins. Yeah. But being, he just, yeah, he just gives them to you. He's like, I could throw those in. Anything else? 292 minus 150. Could someone help me right now? 292 minus... 142? Or no. 242. Yeah, 242. Uh, you, you, uh, considering you got a forge here, you set up shop here, is this... A kind of a permanent re residence here uh, for you? I usually am here. I come back day to day, depending on if it's busy or not. I'm looking for diamonds. <sighs> diamonds. Yeah, maybe if you don't got them, do you know anyone who might? Rhonda, she knows. She deals with them from Dolenz. She gets certain deliveries, <laughs> depending on the day. Yeah. You should talk to her. She has rings, trinkets, necklaces, things of the sort. Diamonds. Me. She probably must have them if anyone in the town does that's available for sale. I want goggles to make further. Uh, all right. Here, or are you still drinking? Walked off to a bar, didn't even get any money. <laughs> uh, yeah, you good no, here? I'm good. All right. Well, thanks for doing business with us. Pleasure. 
At this point, you guys see at this moment, the Joven brothers now, they are walking through, armored up, getting ready to head out. And they kind of throw a wave to you guys and they come up. Thanks again um, for restoring our balance in our life. We uh, appreciate it. Hey, what are your names, brother? No. Oh. Yeah. My name. And they look at each other and they kind of smile. Joven, 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 Joven. Yeah, Joven, Joven. Yeah. Joven, Joven. <laughs> buffalo, buffalo. Um, the one, he looks, uh, I'm Garrick, and this is Bodge. Bodge. B-O-D-J. All right. Uh, the blonde one is? The, gla- the blonde one is Bodge, and Garrick is the um, dark hair. They kind of look. We, um, we're forever in your debt. We told the captain what we know and what happened at Dragon Scale Keep, and that they were, uh, in no place to do what they did. Hopefully, that can be relayed to the Red Council, and, um, something can be done. We are, uh, forever thankful. They turn and they start to walk, and. He's like, oh yeah, and you see Bod, she turns. I wanted to give you one thing. He turns and he hands you out this like golden crested J on this like platinum, very soft, flat surface. It's a pin of our family. Um, I know it probably doesn't mean much to you guys, but uh, whether or not you're assholes or not, or (laughs) cared for our names, you still saved our lives and um, whether you trade it in or do whatever with it, it's still something. It'll get you maybe under gold or, uh, you know. And you look inside, and right in the center, you see a pretty large diamond. Um, you could even use the diamond for some sort of magical purpose if you really needed to, but um, good luck in your travels. And he turns and he walks away. You guys now. Have whatever left of the day you wish to. It's about 5 p.m. What y'all doing? That diamond in that pin, approximately how many gold pieces would it be worth? 300. Hey. It, it, would, be, it would be usable for a... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Or a ball of You know what I want. Do I need to... I'm like, going to write that down. Yeah. Do I need to, yeah. like, attune to this weapon or to figure out, like, what it does? You won't know until you use it unless you have detect magic. So, uh, the, the magic weapon, the axe, if you take a, a short rest, I mean, rules written, if you take a short rest, uh, part of and the, the human process, it gives you the, the uh, excluding if it's, if it's cursed, it won't tell you that shit, but it, it'll give you. Unless it's a curse that tells you to tell you it's cursed. Yeah, but yes. then. <laughs> but, yeah. It's dependent on the curse. True, actually. That, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, but, uh, but if you're just looking at it. Yeah. Rules is written. You would get all the information. I will tell you, you, it is a until tunable. it makes you kill life. You yeah. do have to attune right next to you. Uh, Joven family. So uh, if you want to take the time while you guys are in town and attune to it, oh, you can. Not, I'm not doing any more. Uh, I want to go check out Ron. Yeah, so I'm you, you want to do that? Walk, I'm attuning over there with. Can I attune and walk? You would have to. Think. You need to like <laughs> sit down and yeah. like. Yeah, I'm sitting down attuning to my bow. We got time. Okay, well, I'm yeah, because shopping. you did yours. We'll just say you want to do it in the time that he did his, essentially. Bullshit for an hour, yeah. Yeah, because you guys were in the shop. We'll just say while you were in the shop and he's showing you the weapon, you know, you're like checking it over. You go over to a, a stool, you lay down on a table, and you look at it. Um, it's a great X. It's going to do 1d12, but it's a plus one. And on top of that, this has a buff. You notice just like his, it looks like this guy has something with these tassels. At the very bottom, you see another four tassels. And when these are pulled and activated, you can singularly use this, and the weapon literally splits in half. And it allows you to dual wield it. And you see that it's like a hollowed out, like inside. And when you activate one of the tassels, you basically do double damage with two handed weapons. So your attacks still count as like one with two of them. You just do 2d12. And you have four. So you can do that four times. Wait, is it like for one attack? Or would it be his entire turn? No, it's not like one, one. No, it's one attack. Yeah, so then they're back together. Nope, and his next nope, attack. nope, nope, nope. It's for his whole turn. 
Okay. That's okay. What I, so oh, that's what I sorry, asking. sorry. Yes, the activation is for his whole turn. Yes. Yeah, so oh, it's not like oh. mine where it's like I pull the. T- I start it's my turn. I pull yeah, a tassel. A bonus action to pull a tassel. My first arrow does yeah. more damage. Does yeah. my second arrow do more damage? Like no. is it every arrow that yours turn? is one arrow. His, his is one round. round. Yes, his like activates is the this, weapon. So when he uses when he uses all of them, do, do they stay fused or do they stay as two? He can't. No, because he would have to have another bonus action. No, I'm talking. No. No. Then it comes back together. Yes. Okay. And so yes, and then when, once he's out of tassels, he's out of tassels. We right. Assume. So so for good. So hypothetically, come back. Yep. So hypothetically, it, it's his turn. I have a bonus action. Pull tassel. I Boom. now have thing. First attack, two d twelve. Second attack, another two d twelve. Okay. Done. And then at at the end of your turn, boop, back together. All right. Yep. Light of mercy out. Uh, yeah. Neat. Uh, and then, and let's, are you guys done? Are you guys still looking at your pretty weapons? I need goggles that make me see far. I mean, look, I got goggles that let me see in the dark. Those are kind of. I see in dark real good all the, already, though. Oh, I, yeah. need, I need I need distance. Was not born without a. Yeah, that would be something I could. You know? He needs those. Yeah. The fantasy dark. shopping. <laughs> Uh, Joey's RuneScape shopping. <laughs> I was gonna say this was this is fine. That is RuneScape shopping. <laughs> you ever? Uh, yeah. Sell them fucking so, lives, motherfucker. When you made your Dragonborn, what kind of Dragonborn did, did you use? Because one of them, the Dragonborn. Oh, I'm a gold. One of them does have. He has the metallic dragon. one. It, it doesn't have it. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm, so, I'm, I'm talking really... about the um. Like the critical roll ones. Yeah. You know, the dragons, I think, have it, or the. The other ones, so I don't, I don't know. Which is why I was asking which one he used. Yeah. One of them has powerful build. He just, All right, so what are you guys games. doing? We are heading, or uh, well, as soon as they're done, Magical we're to their shop. shit. Yep, uh, you have a tune. Rondo! So you guys head out. You leave the shop. Yep. You guys gather your weapons. You head over about 100 feet to this purple tent with pink tapestry all around. As soon as you walk in, you smell perfumes and fragrances that are like a bath and beyond times 10. As soon as you walk in, though, you see diamonds and jewels just floating. She walks up. Oh, well, hi there. You wait a few moments, and you see this dark, tan skin, complected woman with this, like, gem bead in the center of her forehead with dark black hair, wearing, like, robes of tan and blue. And then another moment goes by. Oh, well, hi there. And you see another individual walk over to the other side. Seems to be the exact same individual. They both kind of look at you, and simultaneously, how can we help you? Oh my soul. Simulacrum. Okay, uh, which which one am I speaking to here? Who are we? Uh, which one? Well, that's Rhonda. Okay. And that's Tonda. Oh, okay. Okay. Are you twins? Yeah. Oh wow! I, th- I thought this was some like magic business. Going. It, it feels weird that that's the world we live in, that my mind doesn't jump to twins. It jumps to high-level magic. Whoa. You see them just kind of laugh, and then they kind of just hit some of the gems as they walk around. So how can we help you all? Well, we're uh, window shopping currently. Um, we need goggles that allow people to see in the dark for bad guy. She comes over and she kind of spins a bright yellow one. That's the one you would need for that one. Is Girth here? No, I need. Yes. Girth. Oh, <laughs> he's like, yes, he's like, we actually need two of those. <laughs> two you of see those? the other one? She spins a yellow one, and that will be another one for the second. I would like goggles to allow me to see further at all times. Hmm. Like a scope or a telescope, but in goggles. Hmm. We can, um... We can maybe do that for one eye. That's fine. Uh, Monocle? Hmm. Or maybe an attachment to some sort of device. I prefer a monocle. Whichever, you can use it. She goes over to this clear, this like clear, almost like purple tinted one. If I had a a gun with a scope, no, no, and you see her flick it, yeah, that'd be fucking. I mean, so three thinly cut and enchanted gems. (laughs) 
encased into goggles that affix to a dwarf, a human, and an apparatus for one of your eyes for seeing how far? I'd like around like 600-ish feet. We can do 250. <laughs> How much for 250? Is it like she kind of goes it, over and you like, see Tonda just walk like to the back? Is it like 250 max distance, or is it like can I go beyond that? And it just gets blurrier. It'll get blurrier, but, but I can still see. I'd say 250 good. Anything beyond that would still be a disadvantage. You'd like, be able to see maybe. Like 250 Mason. feet isn't even a football. Yeah. Does it feel worth it? I, I, yeah, I feel like you can already do that. Yeah. You can. Yeah. I want something that's better. <laughs> yeah, I, I, want some, I want 250 added onto my vision. I don't think they can do... I want, like, Looks like eye they're eye making eyes. glasses, in a way, to make your vision better for 250 feet. Because, like, your normal vision, you see, like, 60 feet solid. Beyond yeah, that, be it gets to, blurry. I just want like something to assist me shooting super long range because it fits. Me. Okay. Yeah. And I want a monocle that allows me to have like a scope, that allows me to shoot further. Well, they might not have that. She comes back after a moment. We'll just take the two goggles of night. Two goggles with these, um, with the straps included, will be about a thousand gold in total. Those are two uncommon items, right? Yeah, they're they're. Oh, but these are not. Different wonky well, effects. She kind of <laughs> hands. <laughs> she kind of hands one to you. You take it. Yeah. You put them on, and then she. Dark vision. I don't know. <laughs> as you put them on you wait a moment and then you look at everyone and you see that they give off like a heat signature oh these are super important even for me and then she waits a moment like, and she slides the side down and this one and you see these ghostly little like demons kind of wandering around her shop hanging underneath some of the uh, gems and stuff these are allow you to peer into certain things that have escaped the abyss. Demonic okay. creatures, things How of the nature. How much would it be for us to buy four of these? With bulk discount? Yeah, bulk we only discount have three of the yellow gems currently. If you yeah, could uh, head to Dolan's and gather one more for us, we could easily have that done. Do we have a reason to go to Dolan's City? I don't know what that is. Where the fuck's Dolan's City? The city? That's, That's where you're from. That's where you're from. I was like, I'm heard from Dolan's. I never want to go there again. Oh, yeah? Oh, fuck. Shithole? We'll just get three. You buying? Yeah, they seem to have heat did, vision. Did. Okay. Joven Brothers give us each yeah, one of those fine. family. It, no, just one, just one. It, uh, I mean, yeah, if you. It, and also I mean, just a diamond. I can take this and then I can it take out one, my one, eyeballs one. and I can give those to someone else. Wrap those into a goggle. You see, Rhonda. So, right. how many will that be? Is like a wolf would be like super good. Yeah, it would be. So, like, you give your goggles and nights to someone else. Yeah, that's fine. We'll get three pairs. How much is that total? 1500 what 150 platinum yeah. i have we're, we're, we're running low on platinum boys. now as you as you see the twins turn around after actually showing the money and putting this in you see that they kind of go behind and they start cutting down and making sure that they are precise and as this give me a give me a perception check at advantage that's me yep I can give 40 platinum. Definitely. 15. You're put that forward to you buy see, your... as they like turn, That's what I'm saying. part of their it's gown so is open in the back. And though it's decently lit in here, 
You see as they turn and like walk, both of them have identical like full back tattoos that go from like the top of their back all the way to the bottom of their waist where their dress kind of cuts off as there's like a, you know, gap opening. And you see this large tattoo of this huge like bear face that's of this beast. And you immediately recognize that from one of the forests in your wood. And give me a history check. Admiring. 14. You know that this has to do with the ritual or the myth of the eight bears of the... Did you, you say that again? You say eight bears? The eight bears. 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 I was like, eight bears. <laughs> I was like, the fuck? This is some sort of some sort of bears. Some sort of legend or myth of these eight bear souls that are great beast creatures that roam the woods in your wood, and there's said to be if you killed one, whoever killed it becomes that bear. So there's always and forever will be. Eight bears, and that's and this. Got, like reverse werewolves. It's like this myth legend that just happens within the forest, and you see that they are followers of this like belief that they follow this, you know, whatever. And you've only heard of it because it's kind of like far off into the north east region, like in the woods. Like you have to venture to find these tribes people, but that looks to be where they're from, and you know that people from there. They're exotic. They do things very differently. And within those forests, you've even heard that there's ways to enter the abyss, the Feywild, all kinds of things of that nature. So as soon as you see that resemblance in that tattoo, you know these people could possibly have traveled into other planes, um, all kinds of things. So I know these people don't mess around. Yeah, and they're probably... A, Attached to shamans and a bunch of rit ritualistic things and yeah, but maybe they yeah. could do your tattoo. That's closer. So how they got these gems is not <clears throat> natural to them, and you would know that. So now that you see this, those don't align. Your wood is beasts. You know these gems would come from Nuwal or Geom, which is known for that area. So the gems thing for you, cool. they're the, cutting gems currently. Mm-hmm. They're lapidaries? In a way. Oh. Just Wait a minute, remember that ring of mind shielding? That guy that's totally not Magnus wanted? We yeah, you're, probably it's totally off. It's very off, like, it's especially with right what right he's right. saying. There are not very many lapidaries at all. So there to be a gem dealer that is cutting gems. Yeah, magic gems. Yeah, magic gems, that's... That's super funny. fucking rare. That's oh shit, Ron and that me. that is sus yeah, and is a yeah. yeah that's, took a while for me to put that to fucking. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, come on, somebody. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Magic gem dealers. All right, okay. Do you guys right. have a ring of mind shielding so I can stop buying all this? And I'll just say, you know, <laughs> and I'll say, at this point, you kind of <laughs> have <laughs> almost know, like this epiphany that there's the 52 club here. There's gem dealers here. You know that people are visiting from the diamonds, you know, some, you know, the, the one of the captains is, yeah, member. There may be other things going on in Eridence than just storm chasing. Yeah, I guess. So you kind of put all this together and as a character, just like, while you're just off in the corner, kind of putting this all, so that you see them now cutting these gems in, breaking them down using magical equipment. And as you see this within more than 30, 40 minutes, these goggles get strapped together and uh, here you go. And um, just don't tell anybody that uh, you got them from us. Um, do you guys have a ring of mind shielding? We don't. We actually just sold out on a couple of those gems and materials we need, though we are getting another shipment in about two days. And I will have one on hold if you're willing to pay. So while this is all happening, they were making the goggles outside, just like pacing back. This mean. <laughs> just like, 
Wait, so you, you not like so freaking out, but like you're getting a new shipment of gems. 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 Where do you get these gems? We have a uh, dealer out of Dolans that um, has a connection with certain traders. Back to the thing, though. Like, as a group decision, me, Tinfoil Man, okay, mm-hmm. we need these rings of mind shielding, like all of us. Why? We don't have them. Yeah, so we need to, like. Not, and at this point, those. give me a wisdom saving throw. I don't think he knows. Ugh, 10. Okay. Oh. Okay, <laughs> out of character, I might know. Okay. Maybe me too. Yeah, I'll yeah. kind of know what's going on, but... It's but the like, mind shooting ring yeah, sure. wouldn't help with that anyways. Oh, you're not wrong. Uh, so... Yeah, totally. So, who, who's getting goggles? Because I can hand me down, because I will... I'm assuming... I, yeah, I would like the I fancy goggles. goggles. Boom, boom, boom. Well, here's okay. your super you goggles. Now, as you're handing these out, don't show everyone that you have these. Many will come asking, and... As we don't mind the money, we have already made with your purchases all we need. And you see they immediately start closing up shop. Well, that's fine. But once you leave, we're done for the week. And after uh, we get our shipments, we probably will set up shop in a few more days after that week. Okay. Do you, uh, you deal in, so I see you have some, um, gems. Do you have any... I'm gonna die again. Do you have any, uh... uh to be back in a minute. Would you have any gem, gems that you could embed into, uh, temple? Um, perhaps the, something like a moon flavor? Like a, like a moon sickle? That'll take a little bit more time, but okay. we could do it. Okay. What are you looking to have infused into this? Empower it, or...? Uh, something... I, I'm... I deal in spellcraft. We something have that straight in that. stat boosts. And okay. she <laughs> looks at... The, oh, okay. And she, she waves her hand at these gems that yeah. are, like, ornate in different colors. Imagine, um, like, Zelda, you know, like, yeah. red, blue, green, and yeah, yeah, yeah. they're all, like, plus one to stats. Those are very expensive, though. Okay. This this would be plus one to like wisdom specifically. Oh, we we have those. It's a light blue one, and she kind of picks it. This though is about five to ten thousand gold, and yeah, it'll take. Not, that wouldn't even help me anyway. It'll take us closer to a week to construct and cut down for whatever you wish to embed it in. <sighs> that's a little. That's a little above my pay grade currently. It's not quite what I'm looking for. Yeah, I, that's fine. Um, I don't think. You don't happen to have any, um... Uh, any charge, yeah. You don't happen to have any, like, wands, do you? Uh, we do not have wands, I'm sorry. Hold up. Random. Do I still have... I still have my spell focus? Your, uh... It was, was a... It, a it was like or? a... Yeah, it was like a necklace, like a star symbol. Okay. I'll say if you were wearing it, yeah. You take it off and it make like sure that they didn't my Yeah, that would be important. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, you deal in, in gems and magical rocks. Uh. I don't, I don't suppose you have any conflict, do you? As you say that, they both kind of look at each other. What do you know of? What do you know of this conflux? And they kind of go up, and you see Rhonda immediately close the front, and she dims all of the lights. Oh, did okay. I go back in there before she did that? Uh, you yeah. see the drapes just shut, and you're like, what the fuck? Can <laughs> you just kind of go <laughs> peek back in? You see everything's dimmed down, and you hear them start going into whisper. You enter. Yeah. So you enter back in, and don't say that out loud. Secret. It's not a secret, but to find it is to have power if you know how to use it. Yeah, and us being lapidaries, we know the power of it. If it's cut precisely and correctly with the correct gems, there are many things 
If you mess with Conflux, you could have your whole memories erased. By the Conflux or by someone else? Conflux controls all types of magic. Memory being one of them. So if you were to mess with the conflux, and you were unable to, let's say, produce it properly, you could forget who you were and become a brain dead state. So if I happened to find conflux and went messing with it, bad things could happen. But. Possibly if I brought Conflux to a skilled lapidary. A very skilled. I don't even know if I would feel comfortable working with it. Really? Very few have ever been trained to break down Conflux successfully. Sounds like something you're supposed to eat. And even those that did are in books. A Relanoff Draconius was well, able to harness it. One of the like first sculptors I ever heard of. And how he harnessed it and was able to wield it and to do what with? I'm sure we'll never know. He has a... He has, his teachings have descendants. Moonlight Lab. Very few, though, are even left. I'm learning things. So it sounds like you don't have any and you can't work with it. If you, you brought it to us, cup, right? we only know of yeah. one lapidary that lies in Geom, though that was maybe a year or two ago. His name was Pug Jameson. He has a brother that we know. He is located in a place called Panau, we think. Panau? That could yeah. be the name of it. We're not Second from question. here. I have this pair of dwarf boots that allow, people, that allow them to walk on top of snow. Is there a way we put these on not dwarf boots for these guys? We don't. Damn. do that but um would well, you have anything that mimics this type of enchantment that allows them to walk on snow we do not i mean i that I is a little below boots. us to be boots. honest i have like snow well i have snow boots <laughs> yeah these are magic these are okay <laughs> <laughs> um we can't work for it eat close i mean i we don't i don't eat it i attack absorb it, it yeah of. like i could yeah, I mean, yeah, he I'm, doesn't matter if these are dwarf boots. He can wear these. Because he doesn't wear them. That is entirely They become his feet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I would say he though. wears them. Cool. Uh, I got smaller feet. Yeah, yeah I mean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. On screws with the cap. Yeah, his feet just shrink. <laughs> Which just means I actually have to have dwarf feet to attach to. Kind of fucked up Bruce Prophet. Now I have minus one on your deck score. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need that. Imagine him with like short little legs. Yeah. And, and Alright, so, normal so, so, so what are you guys what are you guys doing? You guys have got your goggles, uh, you have your gems. So you don't work with Conflux. Would you happen to have any insight where one might any even sights of power? Why are we rumors? why are we looking for Conflux again? Because uh, Conflux is power. We well, need yeah, we have power that like I can't use, or you can't use. No, I can use. She kind of turns around and she pulls open yeah, it sounds like a, a map, idea. and she looks around, and then she turns and shows it to you. There's the high peak that you could head to. There's also the forest of no return. Whoa. Yes, that sounds like <laughs> the greatest place. It is a scary place to I mean, go. Is it right next to Death Canyon? No, and... it's actually next to the Lost Ruins. And you better have health insurance the river. Is, is that, are we going there too? <laughs> um, out of character. Conflux is stuff that was... The gym. It's the black in, stone that is uh, like an no, ore. The stuff in our Maybe. basement was the ley line, yes. which might have conflux inside of it somehow. Okay, I don't know. Maybe via refining or some I shit. But um, the, the only line. the only it's place the that we've seen line. traces Same of conflux thing. that I can recall is in the pit that well that was next to the green gem we found, where we also unleashed ice tornado. Yep. Who did uh, that? Huh? Who yeah. did that? Uh, yeah, in, in Landman, where all those Warforged <laughs> were, that was where there was, like, there was conflux. That, 
believe that had yeah it, it didn't i didn't i don't I don't think it, it wasn't a, it wasn't like a ton it was like a grave site it was just like this it was within the awakening basin mm -hmm. there was this basin that had conflicts infused yeah. um, we also started the apocalypse there yes <laughs> it's distinctly possible we're trying hopefully to fix problems. someone's fixing that Come while we plus. fix the other problems <laughs> i mean isn't this all circles back to the that problem like don't is yes. the reason we have to go to a different continent is to yeah, get a guy was. to bring back to fix the apocalypse Yes. <laughs> You're like, oh, yes, it's your nephew. Yeah, yep. yeah. That guy's in. That and take down the Red Council. We should probably, it's a twofer. We should probably go ahead and head that way. Complex possibility in High Peak we and have to Forest his cave. of No Return. Got his cave. Isn't that the opposite way, though? <laughs> yeah. I mean, a little bit. But you're in the same cot or yeah, region Yeah, or at least in the same... This is the closest we've been in a long time. The last, the last time we were here, and then we got to hit a Percy before died. we leave the fucking continent. <laughs> yeah, because you know he's our contact. All right, so what are you guys doing now? You guys have shopped. You guys are yeah. sitting here. You've the been told room. about how complex is pretty secretive. What's your next move? To the falls. Uh, Back to contraband's hole. Hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, essentially. Well, actually, the it actually probably be Dresden. To find mm -hmm. to see if Teddy's nearby, and Teddy will just take us there. We don't gotta like search for these falls. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so we can just we, we can find Teddy or any tour guide. Uh, fucking straight shot there. Uh, fucking how far approximately would Dressfin be from here? About seventy-five miles. Is it sad? I'm waiting for us to get to this cave that we think is gonna yep. be like a, desert, <laughs> like a tourist trap. I'm looking. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it's like it, a it, it's, it's, it's just About like three days trip. Guys, like, exactly. Yeah, yeah, they're like, they're like, I mean, like, like, like look, look at this map. ink. Yeah, yeah, he's having a cool what? moment here. Let him have it. Fuck this point out of his map. Yes. Is it a new one? I don't know. No. That's yeah. Not it is. Well, yes, yes, yes. It is. It's written on a napkin that looks like it was in a holding cell. Yeah. Is that one? We, <laughs> you are here. Yeah. We are going here. Neat. Cool. Okay. So, all right. The falls are near there somewhere. Neat. Uh, then, yeah. I mean, we, yeah, we can just go there. And then, because the, the high peak where is our next destination is way to the south in Gildre, mm -hmm. uh, southwest. So, it's in Gildre, like. Are we flying far again? Far west. Uh, like the far we can west. We fly to Dresden, yeah. Northwest corner peak. Oh, we have more rope now, too, so we're safer. Oh, Gildre. You don't even have Gildre. So it's like right here. You don't have Gildre. Yeah, I know, but... Well, the, you said Northwest Peak, though. Yeah, Alberzine so would be... Like, be... Right here, wouldn't it? Yes. Yes, it, it's like right next to the border. Yeah, okay. right below. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, we'd probably lose a little bit of time by heading back to uh, Percy's before heading to High Peak, but I think heading uh, to Percy's before heading yeah because we got to tell percy and that'll allow us to get his tattoo it between which Alvarez above and... table is something he's been trying to get for months <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie so I, i've even like thought about i mean it. i kind of taunted him by making that barbarian for the <laughs> yeah. one shot that had it yeah a little bit <laughs> uh the other thing is so that about time. if we go back near alberzine we can make a pit stop at home figure out that situation and then head to high peak all right, Magnus says let it burn because I don't know them and have no hey, weight. Those are our orphans, <laughs> damn it. You good? That's what you guys do. Uh, yeah, I think I think we're. Are we good with Rhonda and Tonda? I gotta. I, so. I gotta sit down. Uh, I gotta work on my eyeballs. That'll take like an hour. Who's um, wearing the goggles that you guys were just given? Uh, it'll be. The, All right, so you, you three. Now, yes. what are the type? Now, what are the modes on the goggles? E vision? Yeah. Okay. Demon vision. And is there there's dark vision as well? Yes. Okay. Yes, there's okay. dark vision. Oh, that's like, thank God. Is that a separate mode or is that just all the time? That's, How far is the heat? That's vision all going? no, you they're all separate. Yeah. Okay. So it's either oh. dark vision, demon vision, mm -hmm. or um But dark vision, vision not do anything for me, it'd just be on. Yeah, you just, just see Okay, so normal. that'd be what I'd have them when they're off. Does it extend my dark vision range? You're already at 120 feet. Would it give me color in my immediate area of my dark vision range? It, matter of fact, it lowers your dark vision <laughs> range. Can it's actually going to make you blind yeah. if you keep asking. Yeah. If you keep yeah. wearing Can you toggle Double that? blind vision, I heard. Or double dark, vi dark vision becomes permanent dark vision, yeah. which becomes yeah. blindness. Can you just toggle off like normal? Yeah, you can just take them off. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. 
But uh, they have, they have, to, have be to be set on, on something. They're not, with... Yep, there's no way to just have normal. You either take them off or you're wearing them. I can't take mine. They're his eyeballs. Yeah, I mean, yeah, not a problem. I'm used to it. Does he flip or does he like think for them to switch? I'll say he thinks. Oh, that's fine. Oh, cool. How far is the heat vision on him? Everything's up to 250 feet. That's awesome. So as long as it doesn't impede your vision really or anything, you know, you don't have anything crazy, you'll get... Yeah. Oh, wait, the dark, the dark vision is better than my dark vision. Yeah, everything is up to 250 feet. Sweet. Just so as long as you guys have line of sight, Why? it'll work. All that'll work. Why? Okay. So, yes. All right, then I got to hang out in the courtyard. Uh, I'm going to fuck my eyeballs. I'm going to unscrew this this one, right? So did you just give me your eyeballs? Uh, I got it. <laughs> so I'm gonna, yes, I'm he gonna, gave you his I'm balls. Gonna, I'm going to take, take eyeballs. I'm going to take the, sure. the shit He's out of this that one. That you know. And you know. I'm going to screw this one in. I'm just going to take this one, screw that one in. There's no more I'm going to make that direct way. eye contact while I do it. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So now you have like now you have, goggles, now, you have, now you have goggles. Now you have goggles that are his eyes. Yeah. Yes. You know so, now why uh, they call him good. Yeah. So, yeah. so you actually have these like goggles that are like a, a like a they're circular uh, and they're yay big right but they're like flat purple lens so they look like they look like pen glass. Kind of so, yeah. Uh, yeah. They have they have a like gold um, kind of like. Is it the red order that has the purple glasses that he wears? Anyway, sorry. Oh. Oh. Well, yeah, that yeah, might have been old school. Have a, yeah, Maybe purple lenses. Regular, even when he's a villain, doesn't have any screen time, so I don't remember. And then he gives me frame vision. Yeah. yeah so frame, tapes, uh, all right, so constant. while you guys are handing out items and doing this, what are you guys doing? Yeah. You guys, still in the, you guys are still in our tent. We're going to fly to what's its place right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, well then, Rhonda, they close up shop. They kick you up. Thank uh, you. Do you have a magical weapon? Bring us more business if you um I got two actually, yeah, I got need it. Magic. You want uh, magic mango weapons? Because I got these two uh, sickles. You should. No? Like stay away. <laughs> <laughs> Very good point. <laughs> well, got a dagger if they get people. Alright, so you guys are leaving Aridens. How are you doing so? Um Yeah, I'm gonna we're gonna can do the the fucking What's all called? Blah, 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 blah. I would like to fucking find a basket. Uh, is there anyone outside or even inside that who's selling hot air balloon baskets? Nothing that Just is flying the... is currently being sold, but mm-hmm. caravans are. But they are very expensive because of many people trying to get out of the cities. I don't need the balloon. I just need the basket. Uh, I have. So wait, uh, doesn't doesn't that fucking robe of many things have a boat in it? Dude, holy fuck. You might be right. It might have a fucking robot. It does. It does. I'm pretty sure it does. What is this? The fucking robe, Gildor's robe that I, I stashed, right, that I have. Uh, it has patches on it, and I can just pull off a patch and throw yep. it out on the ground. It's a boat. Oh, I'm also, pretty sure. Mastiff's in it. Pretty though. sure yeah, it's got a robo. I was gonna yeah. have him guard the house, but you know, Gildor died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll do it in Gildor's memory. It's fine. Yeah, uh, means I, a lot. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Cool. I was gonna be the favorite of the orphans because I'll give them dogs. Yeah. Uh, all right. right. Be... Then fuck it. Why not? Ski death. Why not? <laughs> yeah. We we'll we'll bust out the fucking rowboat. I'll I'll dig it. I'll out of my pack. I'll pull out this rowboat. Hey, maybe the we patches. should. Uh, we should not do this. Main site. Right. No, we're doing this right in the middle of the street, dog. We yeah. want everybody to know we're flying around with a giant ass dinosaur. We might, we might get people trying to hitch rides and like attack us for rides. I think, we can I think attacking the guy that turns into a giant ass dinosaur would be Not a terrible idea. idea if you wanted to ride. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, we can. I mean, we have to leave. The, we have to go outside anyway. I can't do it in here. There's a roof. Oh, yeah. I mean, not with that fucking attitude. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to fucking bust through the roof, you can. I'm good. I'll go outside. All right, so you guys make your way outside. Yep. You guys feel the wind once again. It's super picking up, and it's about 7 p.m. now. Oh. You changing? You doing it? Uh, yes. I'm going to cast Enhance Ability. I'm going to do Bull Strength to give me advantage on Strength checks. Okay. And double my carrying capacity. Yep. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I will... Uh, obviously, I pulled off the fucking patch for the Robo. But we... Uh, 
I'll save the fucking the actual spell casting until after we get the fucking rowboat set up. Uh, we have a bunch of rope now, right? Oh, hey, this is where that rope you just bought that's super strong could come in because it can hold up to like a thousand some pounds with that 50 oh, they foot. Oh, 500. Yeah. You know, a thousand or a thousand now. Well, there were some ropes. I think six I said six to seven. To six seven. seven. Yeah, now that I'm thinking, okay, I think was it was six to seven. Rope that was on here already. That. What? Yeah. No, what is it? Do you have it? No, 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 no. It's just one of the weapons and. Weapons? I mean, one of the things. Sounds like a weapon, Jesus. <laughs> rope of climbing. Oh. Weighs three pounds and can hold up to three. Oh, you need to get one of those. <laughs> we can go back in and see what they got. <laughs> uh, we'll just use normal rope and make a harness for the boat. I still have dang rope. I mean, yeah, with, with enough rope, we... Alright, so you tied it up? Tied this rowboat to this back? No, he's carrying it like a basket. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. just going to attach yeah. to like, your belly underneath or something. No, he's going to hold it with his legs. Uh, hold on. Oh, I got you. Okay. Uh, so he can the drop rope was to like right. hook onto him as well. Something. Mm, yeah. Well, him. if he drops the basket, you guys will all be in a boat flying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, and that's yeah. what feather I'm just making for. sure that. Yeah. Yeah. Can he feather fall the boat? I don't know if he can feather fall a boat, but he can fall, feather fall all the people okay. in. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and then we just lose it. All right, yeah, I'm all for it. I'm just making sure Which, we got I mean, it all figured honestly, out here. We could probably wrap it around the, the back or something. Like around the beast and then. Around. Have somebody could grab onto and have so we with the want size of the creature. It. Okay, I'd say right. Oh, we do. So, do you, so you just want a handle? Yeah. Okay, you so you have a handle, fifty foot, easy, done. That's not hard. That's just tying off two knots on both ends and yeah. leaving a little slack. Because in if the he casts feather ball, like we can just hold okay. the boat that's and he can I'm fucking swim back in and pick it back thinking? up. Yep. That's what I was thinking. thinking. All right. That's what I was thinking. All right. Yeah. Give me a slide of hand check for whoever's tying it. Fucking, I will eat. Well, hold on. Uh, it has ability seven. dex. Uh, yeah. Advantage Actually, on slide of hand dude, why, is it, why isn't there like a rope tie-off check? Like a there is. It's, it's, a, it's a tool. Is there? Who is the highest slide of hand? Ooh. I'm at plus seven. Be him. Oh, I'm a plus seven. Oh, yeah? yeah? But he's just tying off rope. Why do you need a tool? Uh, it's specifically like... What, um, be a Climbers can't. Oh, wow. There's a picture what is of it? this one. It's uh, things that climbers kit would do it. I'm gonna help you. Kit. Anybody that's like proficient in like anything like that would be able to do it. It would just usually what? be a dex plus your proficiency bonus or sleight of hand. Right, that's what I'm thinking. But you don't have to be proficient. It doesn't have to be sleight of hand. Hmm. Would you roll? Well, at a minute. So it, yeah. it takes well, you a little bit, but you well, think I it's sturdy. Advantage thing. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop doing the thing. <laughs> Roll the real dice. Yeah. It's not no, that. You take held, it and you establish this curse. And click. Oh, that one. Does it? Yeah. And it rolled two, uh, two d20s? Oh, yeah, it did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's always us. No. Can so I just take 20? You tie it off. It seems pretty secure. You guys blow it up in. Uh, yeah, now I will do the. Can I double check? There it is, tight. <laughs> he lifts off, and yeah. you guys wait just so a I few seconds. Check? Well, I mean, you already it's checked it until weight is on it. it. Yeah, you I gotta would, test it. Yeah, I would have. I would so have he just the enhanceability, and then right, right, so he shape just and waddles it over, yeah. changes, yeah. grabs onto it. You guys just wait. He lifts it up. Seems to be fine. You guys sit it honest. down. No. You all load in. You're like, okay. It goes up about 10 feet. You wait another minute. You rock it a little bit. Seems to be fine. It's a little shifty, but it seems to be okay. You you knot it off rope to a fucking boat that weighs six to 800 pounds. It's yeah. about as best as it's probably going to be. Yeah, once it's slipped. Yeah. All right. Let's fucking... I'm, I'm, luckily, we don't have to be super stealthy, so I'm, I only need to be... Now, as you guys are out here, the you guys feel that it's it's cold, and you guys are not properly uh, attired for this. So everybody, My give me a constitution clothes? check. I am. He doesn't have meat, so yeah, I don't know how he yeah. freezes. Oh yeah, you got that robe. I got the robe. Yeah. 
Okay, I'll say you get advantage then. <clears throat> so, constitution checks for the weather as you guys walk out. Now, the storm is. It a is save or just a check? Or a save, excuse me. Right, yes, constitution saving three. throw. Do I need to do this? 19. Yeah, every, everybody. With the plus three. And you're going to take four points of damage. As well. 19. You pass, you take none. Then you take two. Damn. What do you got to pass? I got to... You got to pass a 14 to pass. I don't think you do. You, you're not made of. If meat. you don't pass. I don't know. I have to use constitution. He's not mm-hmm. meat. He, he still gets cold. Metal, metal, big, big metal bird. Yeah. This is a magical storm. Fuck. Constitution save. Roll the goddamn dice. How much? Four if you didn't pass, two if you passed. Thank you. Okay. 18. Pass. Two damage. Yep, you'll okay. take two damage. All right, so you guys walk out, and it's freezing. Oh, you literally feel that the cold is ripping into you, and then as you lift up, it's getting colder. As you guys do so, you guys are heading towards Just Fed? Just Fed, yes. All right, so that's about a three days travel. So for time's sake, since you're flying, this isn't going to be anything other than you, and you're going at normal pace. So I'll say we'll do normal with you carrying everybody. So 20 miles, so oh, three days. A not super, like 50 maybe. Oh, enough, so, enough to avoid trees. Can I scale the land, see if there's any like landmarks to stick yeah. out that I could add to them? All right, map? so oh, as you're flying to... over, um, first day, everybody give me, we'll say three constitution saving throws for the I weather. Can, I can go a full eight hours burning both wild shapes without a short rest. So I won't have that at night, but you know, it's fine. What am I doing? What three doing? three constitution saving throws for the weather. Everybody's plus three, don't forget. Plus three? Oh, okay. So that's 15. I, I passed all three. Okay. What's the DC? 14. 18, 17, and 19. Uh, if you're above 14 and you pass all of yours, damage with passes? it's going to be, no, you're going to take uh, halved as five if you pass them all. Pass them all. I need to know if you failed any of them, though. Nope. Be a 14. Yep. I passed all of them as well. All right, yeah, then everybody's going to take five cold damages. You guys are just traveling. So you travel through. The first night, you guys go to rest. You guys land. You guys, who's taking... You guys need to at least watch for four hours until someone's awake. So you, I mean, there's going to need to be... I have centuries rest, so I don't sleep. Uh, and so I'm uh, taking... All right, so you guys land, set up for the first count. Since we're so cold up in this bitch, uh, Uh I'll take that rest with the the heat, and I'll toggle through them every so often. All right, as you're doing so, um, give me a perception check. Now, where you guys have landed, you notice that as you're looking for, you know, map things to lay out, you notice that near the area, probably a mile or two off, you see that there was some sort of, like, divide in a bunch of the forest. You're not quite sure. You see a a small pathway, possibly, as you guys were flying over, um, just above the trees, you you know, a path, and you kind of saw it wind around for a little bit and then kind of head off in a direction you guys didn't go but it seems to be quite traveled, and it seems to be like a very ornate path through the wilderness, just random. You don't see anything that is attached to it other than just a long winding path. It bends around. Which way? Um, South? From where you are, it looks like it's going like uh, like a north to southwest, and it's kind of bending a little bit, um, and you see it kind of looks as if it tails off further uh, like southwest in a way, and then you kind of lose sight of it. You guys take rest, and on your first rest, you see what look like some adventures or somebody hiking through. Um, maybe a group of like five, six individuals grouped together. They don't seem to notice you or seem to care if they do. And they walk on by, look just as if they're hiking. You wait a few more, maybe hours or so. You see some wildlife. Um, but in this area, it's pretty active um you see and hear some more individuals kind of going along and this pathway you see kind of bends around not too far off from your campsite and as you guys are kind of just waiting there as everybody kind of sets up their bed rolls and everything you guys take just a quick little break you realize that this seems to be like an actual trail of some sort 
as you guys are sitting here periodically, you see small groups of travelers and individuals keep going up and down this trail. Other than that, though, you don't really see anything. Um, on your century's rest, nothing startles you. Nothing seems to be out of the ordinary. You guys wake up. Seems to be covered in snow. Um, you guys, though, without proper um, gear for, like, sleeping and whatnot. Um, yeah, I got my tent. In a bedroll. I forgot you bought a tent, yeah. Okay, so then I would say you yeah, and would, would, would yeah. you and who's the lucky individual? No one. It's my fucking <laughs> tent. <laughs> it's his fucking tent. So then the four of you, Fuck give y'all. me one I'm more. I'm kidding. It's that's Gert. It's like, me and Gert. That's okay. kind of what I... Right. Hell yeah. yeah. It's, open, it's very, yeah. very accurate. Um, so the rest of you, whoever is not in there, I need con saves for the night. Oh, it's have, me and Gert. Because it is now the heighten of it, and this is colder, so this is a 16 I need I, for the save. I have a dire wolf pelt. It helps a little bit, but not enough. Okay. Yep, you know, 16. you could just put that on fire. You're good? I know, 22. Oh, I mean, does it, would that help? Would, would lighting like a campfire? A little oh. bit, but... I mean, yeah, okay. You guys need actual proper cover. Making? Just a concept. You guys are freezing, and I'm just in there playing my little yep. fucking... You're saying, yep, you guys are yeah, broken out of the wind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, you paid yep. your way. Right, so yeah, if you pass, you more. take two damage. Yeah. If you failed, you take four damage. And it's a 16 pass. save. Uh, pass. All right. So, you guys wake up the next morning, How prepare your things. I fold my tent up, but it doesn't fold right and fit in its little capsule form again, because, you know, we got of course it doesn't. It never does. It never does. Yeah. It never you guys notice I finally you're... get it to finally fit. Yeah. Like, fuck. <laughs> Uh, pain in my ass. So. It's a little crumpled up, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, the yeah. original package is definitely broken. <laughs> um, you guys make your way back. He shapeshifts in. You guys have taken your eight hours. You gain another long rest. Um, but the damage was after you guys woke up from your long rest. Um, so I, yeah, loser. Two if you failed. Um, yeah, bam. So it was one if we succeeded? No, two if you failed. Four if you succeeded. Four, four if you, you failed. Fail. Or four if you there failed, you two if you I'm succeeded. Like, you succeeded. Sorry. I'm like, huh? <laughs> You it's guys okay. head uh, off, and you right. go for the second day. Uh, Nothing. How far away is this city? Three days. That was by flight? By yep. flight. How much would it have been by, like, carriage? Probably four. Really? The, mm-hmm. the flying doesn't save much time. Uh, the weather. Maybe a day in the weather. Yeah, it's good point. Like, the weather would honestly probably be better if you had a good trail yeah. on ground, but with the weather, it's a solid. Like, you'd probably be there in almost two days, but weather's pretty fucking rough. And I'm just saying, you know, unless you're like really pushing speed, I'm not gonna make you make strength checks every periodically. So um, normal speed. Then, uh, life you still got enhanced ability. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch a spell slot or a spell that I'm trading on, uh, and I will not take enhanced ability. Okay. I will instead take protection from uh, energy. Protection from the elements. What the fuck is yeah, this spell? Yeah, it's elements. I think. I don't know, something like that. So you change still, you wild shape, uh, and you guys are traversing yeah. once more. And so for an hour, I am resistant to cold damage. Okay, so you will only need to make two checks. Yeah. So everybody else, um, two or three con saves, except for him, on your next day's travel. Is it still a 16? Yep. 14? No, it's a Can 14 I just get drunk and not take saves? <laughs> nope. How many? I mean, you need to take the damage, you just want to get drunk? Yeah. No, I'll, okay. I'll take the saves. How many? Three. three. I was just wondering if the memes about alcohol helping with coldness would work. Okay. Subconsciously, yes. Is it still a 14? Yep. Nice. That's both of them. Alright, so four if you pass the ball. Uh, eight. Two. Four. There's three. He yeah. only had two. So I pass how, many, how much damage do I take? Oh, you would only take three. Them. One of them barely. So you're going to take seven. So it's four if you pass them all? Four if you pass them all. Okay. Okay. The plus two. All right, uh, so that's a, that's a you guys go. I uh, I'm doing my car. We'll, we'll handle my so you guys, you weigh in for the second day. You take your rest. Another thing happens. You guys take another two points of cold damage. Any more points? You of heal interest? it up, so you'll just heal back to full, and then take another two in, points. In this entire trip, has, has there have we spotted any direwolves? You've heard them. You haven't spotted any. Um, direwolf pelting? I was just saying. Pelts. I mean, if you wish to look while you guys are resting, you can. Yeah. Uh, we'll probably find some on the way to the fucking falls. I'm trying to help this when we're not flying. Yeah. I figured if, if we could uh, kill enough animals. Can we just take the frost damage and just quick travel? 
<laughs> yeah. If you want uh, to. Yeah, like I want the loading screen, uh, please. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, I'm over encumbered, so I can't fast travel. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I need, I need, I need right, a so seat for that. Yeah. At the second day, you guys do land, and you notice that the trail is very evident in this area. You guys land, and people actually like kind of see you guys flying, and they kind of look around and. Is that a fucking boat? People are just like, <laughs> oh, um, is that a pterodactyl? What, uh, what seems to be your group's method of travel? I've not seen a creature like that. As you see a small group of about four men walk up, they, um, don't make airships like that. And they're it's, speaking it's, it's to the right four of there. you. It's right up there with none of your fucking business. Give me an intimidation check at advantage. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized I'm gonna just totally re squid skin this this fucking giant dinosaur and swan. Twenty? Uh, like a goose. They look at you. <laughs> so um you wouldn't happen to have anything of value on you, would you? As he looks at you and he doesn't seem to back down. He looks at you and in a moment they kinda look around and it's about five, six PM getting close to dusk and you guys have landed. I mean if you wanna take it, your time out of your day to break the monotonous traveling with me able to shoot your kneecaps out. I'm more than happy to help you people. And you see the two individuals in the back that looked as if they were drawing like these short swords out from beneath their packs. Looks like you guys have winter clothes. And I don't have winter clothes. <laughs> they do have winter clothes. So this, seems, <laughs> yeah. this seems to solve a problem you, I've you been You look having. at them and as you say that they start we're sending their blades back into their packs, and you hear one. Nope, just traveling. <laughs> well, I thought um, <laughs> see, uh, flying amongst the trails, and you see they kind of back up, and then start back down the trail. Bitches. You guys kind of move up a little bit forward, relocate camp just a little bit forward, and you guys set up. You guys start your rest, and as always, you do your sentries rest. Give me a perception check. Push back. Saves and checks are on different screens. Thank God my That's a 29, an actual 20. So as you all are sleeping and the storm starts to bill up, about two, three hours go by and it starts to become dark. You don't really hear anything. And then you just kind of sitting on the outside you wait a moment and while you're resting and you kind of sit there you hear a loud I feel so safe in oh. my tent <laughs> I know. Where there's and it sounds like it's getting louder <laughs> I don't like that you wait about 30 seconds and you hear and then I'm going to make sure everyone's away. Here comes the pterodactyl. You hear what sounds like these... You hear what sounds like snow compacting in small brush being, like, crushed a little bit. You wait a moment. You hear... And then... Like a low guttural growl. You wait a moment, um, and then you hear, and then another, and then what sound like offset different sets of tandem footsteps. I'm gonna, I'm gonna toggle asleep. my. No, he said he's gonna wake everybody up. Um, yeah, no, I, yeah, okay. I, yeah. As soon so, as I heard big ass fucking you hear, flappings, you I would hear this land. I uh, yeah. You rush over, you wake him up. You guys see darkness. Heat you vision. toggle over. You look, and in the landscape, yeah. you just see wind, snow, blurry. You see dark vision. Nothing. It's just darkness. You click it over to heat vision, and you see one pretty decent size wyvern like creature, maybe 200 feet away, <laughs> and two individuals <laughs> walking towards you, wearing armor from which you can tell. And with their heat signatures giving off like a silhouette of a draconic individual. And as you wait there for a moment, you see these two individuals approaching where you guys are resting. 
They seem to not know that you see them yet, and you see them kind of jolt off behind these trees, and they're wivering. <laughs> Fly up into the sky. Their heat vision gets out of your vision for a moment. You lose track of them, and that's where we're going to end today's session. Real quick, compared to his size, as the Quetzalcoatl, how like comparable to the beast was it? It's pretty close. It's a little smaller, maybe, but pretty close. Yeah, no, that, that Quetzal. So we'll Quetzal, pick up that's here. Not how you that. Like I looked up how you pronounce. Next like week. if you one it's, a, tool, it's like a Quetzalopicus or something. It's, it's, it's Quetzal like Quetzal. Oclips or something. It's, it's Quetzalcoatlus or something. It's something yeah, weird. Yeah. It's, it's stupid. It's some Latin remember. bullshit. Uh, and so I'm gonna just reskin that. I am now yeah. a huge Canadian goose. <laughs> okay, I'm, a, I'm a big ass goose now. <laughs> okay. I'm a 16 foot tall Canadian goose. <laughs> to oh, really God. intimate, I get a bunch of intimidation now. Huge. Well, fucking now. I'm bigger than a huge creature. But anyway, so we'll pick up there next week. Yeah, I'm. Be a Good session, guys. Actually, wait, wouldn't huge be And we'll pick 40? up with who these individuals nah, are. Double the size of large. Good session. Thank you all for watching. Peace out. Oh. Yeah, a large.